And here he is, direct from some sort of dark dimension, Pumpkin Guy. Oh, what's up? Oh, camera. You're looking. Bl is it just me or is it looking blurry? Ah! Greetings, PG and John. We are here and things are going for now. Jim Thummy Bounce, Jim Nervous Spells, Jim Yap. All of it. <laughs> what's up? Thank you. Yay. It's time for lunch break with the PG. Damn. Where are we hanging out today? Is this one of those maid cafe things I've heard about? Nah, it's just a regular cafe. No maids here. We're on our, we're on our school lunch break, quote unquote. Hey, how's it going? I'm not going back to class. I'm not going back to class. Throwing the books at school's out forever. Like that song. We're not going to take it. Like that song. No sleep till Brooklyn. Like that song. You got to fight for your right to party. Like that song. And other rebellious things from the 80s slash 90s that I don't, whatever. Uh, let's see. Bullying's back in school. Well, we've been back into school, you know, just take breaks. Um, let's see. God, it is Wednesday, right? Ah, oh, son of a... All right. Good old Beastie Boys. What's up? Bun Kitty, hi. Hey, Max Marvel, hi. Furious Library, uh, Control Alt Dustin. Hi, how's it going? Lego, Phoenix Monroe. What's up? Uh, some ghost chick. Hi, Furious Library. What's up? How's it going? Uh, da, da, da. Dante, what's up? How's it going? Da, da, da. Ray Wolf, what? Hey, Puppet Guy Pauline, hope you're doing all right. Uh, doing after surgery. Uh, so far, all right? Question mark? Yesterday was the first day that was more... The day was more better than it was worse. If that means anything. So the pain was less throughout the day than it usually is. Yeah. 74 mo- oh, it's Yes. Dennis, thank you. 74 moons. Hey, for Twisted Sister and Beastie Boys. What was the other one? There was another band. No, I know there's other, whatever. Ah, let's see. Uh, yeah, so far, so uh, that's, that's working out well. So there are usually days were like, uh, what? 70, 30? 70 being bad, 30 being bad. Yesterday, it was like 52% good, 48 bad. So, you know, I think I think we, we've gotten over that that kind of eh, thing of post-surgery stuff. So hopefully, you know, we got more doctor's appointments, stuff like that. They got to still keep poking at us. Uh, we'll see. I thought you're sounding like you're feeling better. Well, I'm feeling like I'm feeling better. I don't know. Internal workings of the body is a mystery. I could spontaneously combust without me even knowing it. Though I think I would, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Mm, what's up, Glasgow? Hi, how's it going, Small Town Rider? Hi, what's up? Do 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 do. Speaking of music, do you have a favorite East Coast hip hop group? Oh God. Um, I remember Doom. Yeah. God, not recently. God, I can't even think of. God, I can't even think of a band that I've listened to in the last decade, at least consistent consistently. Like I don't really search people anymore. I'm like, dude, I gotta listen to them. Maybe the Hives. They're not rap though. I wonder if they can rap. You think the hives can rap? Yeah. You know, Swedish rap? This from Sweden or Switzerland? I forget. What's up? Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. A lot of that feeling. All right. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Persona 3 Reload is fun. Uh, oh, liking the style of the game? Dude, the style of that game is awesome. That whole series has a very unique style as anime goes, and I'm like, boom. That's what I like about it. Yeah, because a lot of anime just kind of looks the same, and you're like, hey, this looks like that other thing, and that looks like this, and this, the blah, 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 blah. You need a unique style that stands out ever so slightly, you know? The Hives are cool from Sweden. Sweden, yeah. Their last album was pretty decent. There's always a couple of good tracks out of there you can just pull out. I like Two Types of Trouble. Two Types of Trouble. Dude, did I listen to that at least, like, God, every other day? Dreamer High, what's up? Final High, what's up? Three streams, three, hey. I did, they got streaks now. You can actually see how many streams you've watched in a row. It's crazy, the technology. Yeah, my throat's a little dry because of the dry air crap, so I guess i got to fix that with coffee. You just got your notification. Twitch, you're failing me. Good. Uh, yeah, we got to put out the coffee cards. It's on random. Don't blame me. Blame AI. I know it's not bad. Eh. Why does it look like her shirt's got a mouth in it? Dude, that's creepy. Look at that. Go ahead. Try to touch him. There I go. All right. Coffee. Let's go. 
Sterling, hi, I'm getting coffee. It's warm coffee. It's all right. Boop. Ah. Mm. I like Hammerfall. Oh, dude, Hammerfall. Dude, I haven't heard them in a while. We got to do that. We got to do a stream one day um, when I fix up the audio so it doesn't do a thing and I don't get in trouble by everybody on the planet. We got to uh, find music. What's your thought on movie news? Um, There hasn't really been any. With the exception that, yo, somebody died on set doing the uh, Wonder Man series for Marvel. Yeah, they were they were hanging out in the rafters doing some work and they fell. That's sad. I don't know why they're making a Wonder Man series. But clearly not worth it. Ugh, so that sucks. Mm, now, there isn't really a lot of uh, movie news, at least not that I'm interested in. I mean, Ghostbusters movie, Beetlejuice movie coming out this year. So that's kind of cool. But, um, you know, I mean, everything else. I don't care about Dune Part 2 for some reason. I think that comes out, like, March 1st. I'm just like, great, more sand. Ugh. Mm, it was, uh, it says Wonder Man. I don't know who the hell Wonder Man is. It's, it's like this weird comic book superhero that they're like, yeah, this, this one needs a series. I think they tried to make him big in the 90s. Um, he was like an actor, but he's got superpowers or something like that. If I, I vaguely remember his backstory. The Wonder Woman knockoff before Squirrel Girl. Where's Squirrel Girl? Make a series out of that. Good. Uh, mm. Now I'm talking about Beetlejuice. I just, I just uh, oh, talked about it earlier. Oh, yeah. No, hopefully it'll be good. Again, I, I, I don't get my hopes up for a, anything, honestly. I really don't. It'll probably be decent. I think Tim Burton's on board. You got Danny Elfman doing the music. Um, Ortega's in it. You know, when Oda Ryder's coming back, uh, Michael Keaton is going to be in there. So, you know, fingers crossed. It all comes down to the writing at that point. But then Beetlejuice's character was mostly improv by uh, Michael Keaton back in the day. So if they allow him to do that, it might be more fun. So we'll see. Uh, do -do -do -do. Yeah, I know. It's Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's literally what it's called. I wonder if that's going to be brand confusion. They'll be like, what? They're just releasing, uh, you know, back in the... You know. I don't know. Internet. Uh. It was literally an answer for Wonder Woman. So they were like, dude, we need something. We need something to contrast Wonder Woman. Wonder Man? I I guess if that's all we got, quick, trademark it. <laughs> uh. mm. I, dude, I, I, I don't know. Prequel to A Quiet Place looks promising. They're making another uh, Evil Dead-like movie. But it's going to be like a spinoff, I think. Part of the Evil Dead universe. Here we go. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be fun. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. The last one was good from what I heard. I didn't get to watch it, though. We were busy, and then we were laid up, and then here we are. Eh. God, there's so much stuff. You need a Maiden Squirrel series. No, we don't. Hey, we, hey, we tried doing that with the Island series, but apparently uh, the, the the hate mail flows through the internet. Apparently people too, people aren't too keen on Susie June for whatever reasons. I wonder what they could be. Why do I, why, why do I care about those type of viewers anyway? <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Uh, Alyssa Thunderland did a great job in it. Uh, people are stupid. People are stupid. Yeah, but what are you going to do? This is the world we live in. Mm, I like the island series. There you go. Mm. God, I want more coffee. Should I have water? I should probably have water. Eh. No, my throat. It's dry. This will do water. Ugh. You know, she doesn't have an outfit like it's that. Solid. Hey, Timmy the Termite. What's up? Therese. How's it going? Boop. How's it going, Timmy? How you doing? Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday. Wednesday. What's up? Mm. Hope you're doing well. Hi. Thank you. What's up? Whatever happened to foamy fan mail? Uh, we started getting the same repetitive mail from people over and over again about wanting to see particular characters without clothes, so we got bored. <sighs> Dude, I can only read so much of that where I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to even answer these anymore. 
Uh, mm, been having long involved philosophical debates with a co-worker about free will versus non-religious fate. Oh, that must be fun. <laughs> I know free will is basically within the parameters of what legal ramifications are placed upon us by a higher entity. Mm. Mm, be them religious or, you know, human. It is fun, actually. Oh, so they're not being all, like, crazy belligerent about it. They're actually having a conversation. That's rare. That's so rare, dude. I mm. uh, hope you're feeling well. Having a great week. So far. So far, we're not dying. Nice. Buccaneer Squirrel, thank you. Mm. Dun, dun. An actual conversation? Huh. Huh. Mm, perfect way to start today. What's up? Mm, coffee and pumpkin gosh dream. Yeah, good vibes. Thank you. Cesarean, thank you. What was the uh the other weird crap that we saw? There was a weird thing. Always enjoys the friendly debate with open minds. Yeah, it's so difficult to get that on the internet, you know. Real life, every once in a while, you can meet somebody and actually have a discussion with, but it's just so. Oh God. Mm. I know it would be nice if there was like a a website for logical minds that actually want to have conversations about important topics yet were aware of themselves enough to not get emotionally crazy about it. You know what I'm saying? Or just go off the rails on some weird tangent that has nothing to do with nothing. Yeah, like an internet debate club, you know? So not Reddit. No, basically not the internet. That's that's kind of the problem. You know? Dude, there, there are like, there are forums that are just about pizza and then people turn it political. Why? It's pizza. It doesn't matter. It's like, well, if you like pineapple on pizza, you must be one of those fill in the blank political party people. And this is why the country's going to hell. I'm like, it, it's a topping on pizza. This isn't earth shattering political social sciences. Whatever. Uh, Wonder Man was and started off as an Avengers villain before becoming a hero and being a Hollywood celebrity. He's also being involved uh, when the vision was created using his brainwaves. That's all sorts of confusing to me right now. That's one of those comic book plots. I'm like, what? <laughs> Gets like that on the water Reddit. Yeah, right. Blah, 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 water. I don't know. It, it's it's kind of weird. Like, okay, we're talking about... Because um, there was rumors of Starfield, you know, making its way to PlayStation at some point, right? Um, you know, and Starfield technically now is a quote-unquote Xbox exclusive, but it's also available on PC, what the hell ever. Um, and then, like, all these, you know, Xbox fanboys were just up in arms. How could you do this? Blah, blah, blah. What about of our exclusives? We finally get exclusive that other people want. Blah, blah, blah. You know, eh, blah. and everyone turns it into this thing. And you and Don were having this conversation where it's just like every every gamer. Here's the thing. If you're a gamer and you're choosing sides and what's, what console is and violently defining yourself by them, um, you really shouldn't be in the gaming verse because the concept of gaming is there's a game and you want everybody to play it because that game's good, regardless of console. Like, okay, I have I have a Switch. I wouldn't be bent out of shape if all the Nintendo games ended up on PC, Sony, or Xbox. If all, if all the, uh, what do you call it, exclusives from Sony ended up on PC or Xbox, I wouldn't care. If all the Xbox exclusives ended up on PC, Sony, and Switch, I wouldn't care. Why do you care about this? Dude, that's sad. You're defining yourself by, you know, the console you play, and you're like, oh, I only play this because we got the best exclusives, and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, they put them out somewhere else, and you freak out? Dude, what are you doing? Think about it for a second. Like, lot, sit, sit yourself down. Be like, dude, meh. They're just like what you like. Play it where you can, you know? That's all. Ah, oh, God. Because it was like this whole Twitter thing about, you know, Xbox, brr, how could you do this to us? How could we do this to you? We literally given you a bunch of games and you just, you you basically play for $15 a month. How do you make money? Yeah. Microsoft probably decided exclusivity wasn't worth uh, uh, working out well for them, so they decided to change their business plan. And that's fine. Go. Truth spoke by the pumpkin. Games should be available for all hmm. also. 
end of lunch. Oh. Enjoy your games. All right. I hope you enjoyed lunch, and I'll try to make the rest of the day better. Ah. Not sure if that's true or fake for now. I live with it as an allegation. Yeah, it, is, it hasn't even been confirmed, but the rumors of blah, blah, blah happening. People were speculating it might be Gears of War. It might be this. might be one of the ye olden Xbox exclusives from whenever. You know what? The only Xbox exclusive I really care about getting onto other platforms is Jet Set Radio Future. A lot of people don't know this. It was actually an Xbox exclusive. Why the hell isn't that available everywhere? So, Sega, remaster that and put it out there like you did the first game. Stop being stupid and stop focusing on Sonic 24-7. You have other franchises. Take care of them before they die. Thank you. So, mm. <sighs> um, yeah, and the concept of exclusivity for me is just stupid. You know? It's like, I, I don't like it. I don't care. I don't want God of War locked on a console. I don't want Halo locked on a console. And I'm so happy when they make it over to PC. You know? I'll go, I'll give them the I'll give them the full price for a game if I don't have to buy a console on top of that. I don't care. I'll pay for it on, on PC. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Mm, good video game should be like a good book. It should make you want to pull it off the shelf again. Yeah. Like Red Dead Redemption 2. Dude, I saw somebody play through that recently. We had it on in the background. That game is so good it distracted me from work. You know how rare that is? It's insane. Yeah. Mm. Mm, I don't want Final Fantasy games locked on console either. I don't think anybody does. You know, put them everywhere, you know? And think of all the... They're always improved when you put them on a PC anyway. You know, there's always some modder who ups the frame rate, makes the, the graphics a little bit better. You know, you got your fun mods to goof around with and go back to when you revisit it. It's fun. It's not only locked on to PlayStation. I wish Konami would just put those games on PC. Um, I think the, the one that just came out is, what is it? A uh, short message, which seems like a really long game of, I don't want to play it, but no, I watched somebody do a playthrough of it and I was, I just wanted it to end because I didn't care about the character. I didn't care about the themes. I didn't care about anything about it. I was just bored out of my mind going, Oh my God, just block people, please. Uh, I still play on PS4 because, uh, having physical copies of my games. Nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Da, 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 da. Darkness high. What's up? Uh, living cause and every decision we make is our own, and we're obligated to make moral choices to give the consciousness free will or do the state of history of the universe and the track the only track that what the universe uh, itself plans for us. We have an illusion of free will. It's been fun. Eh, maybe. Burr. Eh. Mm. Short message game is just PT again, right? Uh, I kind of felt that way, you know? What up, PG? How's it going? I'm just shopping for an iPad at Walmart. Hey, nice. Speaking of which, yeah, we are still looking for coffee soda. No, nah, because, because yo, the supermarket I used to go to used to have coffee soda. They don't make it anymore. Now I got to go find other ones. That's what we're going to do a little later on. Going to look. And what? We got to do. We got to find. We got to find these things. Coffee soda is important. I found a recipe for coffee soda. Surprisingly simple. I feel like it's a little complex for what I would do, but you know, nevertheless. Mm, you can find Silent Hill 2 and Homecoming on Steam. Oh, really? Those are on Steam? I never even bothered looking up. It still boggles my mind that Red Dead Redemption, the original one, isn't on Steam. I am I am livid about it because I just assumed it was. You know, because like all the GTA ones are on there and everything, and I'm like, bro. Uh, it's all about what? Time that Metal Gear Solid 4 Southern Pager is part of the PC. Rick and Stoney and their DRM built into the consoles of the game, making it impossible to preserve the game, make it cross-compatible or backwards-compatible for newer consoles. Oh, there's always some genius who can backwards-compatible that. Yo, there's always somebody who's just like, I got this, you know? You give it time. If there's a fan base for the game, even if there isn't, there's always that one person who gets obsessive about it and fixes it. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Uh, Coca-Cola coffee. I didn't even know Coca-Cola made a coffee soda. That's crazy. No, Red Dead Redemption never made it to PC, which is biz bizarre to me, you know? And I'm just like, dude, it's locked on consoles. How sucky is that? That sucks. That sucks. Because mm. I don't want to play a console. Bruh. Mm, do you still use Flash? Yes. Not Adobe Flash. Macromedia Flash 4.1. Oh, 
the best version of Flash for its simplicity yet versatility. That program came out in 1996, bro. <laughs> uh, let's see. Did it? Did it? Uh, it was, oh, it was co uh, Coca Cola Black. Oh. Here's the thing. When I go look for a coffee soda, I don't want to get one that's just all jacked up with caffeine merely to, so it can say, look, we got all this caffeine. I don't want that. I want a good coffee soda that has the a responsible amount of caffeine in it, okay? I don't need to drive my liver crazy or my kidneys or anything like that. I just want something fun. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, Coke and, uh, Coca-Cola coffee and Pepsi coffee. I think they flopped. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, coffee soda is such an acquired taste because it's basically like it, it's bubbly coffee and people are like, ew, ew, no, coffee should be warmer ice. That's it. It shouldn't have bubbles in it. It's an acquired taste. When you drink so much coffee, you want something different. That is when you look for coffee soda, you know? Yeah, you have an alternate way to play Red Dead Redemption on PC and that is emulator. Yeah, there is a way to do that, so... There's always another way on the internet. If soda tastes good, I, I wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah, dude. If it's good, it's good, you know? Why not get a soda stream and make your own? Well, that's the thing. They have a basically a simple thing where you could use just regular coffee and some, like, club soda and ice. And I guess some, like, uh, you know, sweetness if you want it, if you got to be that person. Um, but for that, you use agave, you know, just toss it in there, give it a little bit of sweetness. Well, I'm going to try that tomorrow or the next day, or maybe the day after, whenever we go food shopping, what the, it, tomorrow's Thursday. Now I got stuff to do But well, Friday. Now I got stuff to do Saturday. Now Dawn streaming. I'll order the ingredients. Um, <laughs> it's like moxie soda require, uh, uh, oh, an acquired taste. Yeah. We've had moxie soda. That was not for us. But I know people it's do love it. Time. Hey. It's time to get some caffeine in your system. Yes. You might have had too much, but nobody listens, so you buzz. Let's get buzzed. Go. Ba -na 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 -na. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Coffee. I'm drinking warm coffee because I was cold. I've tried to quit or at least lessen my sugar intake, but man, it's like quitting hard drugs. Your brain hates you. Um, for sugar, if you're just putting it into coffee and stuff, seriously, try ag agave. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's got a lower glycemic I index. Um, eh, it's slightly healthy for you. And what? what's the other thing? It does a thing, right? It's just uh, like cactus nectar, you know? So there you go. Oh, oh and when it comes to baking, date sugar. There you go. Honey has a, that is very Ren Fairy. I like this one. Look at that. Does thou like coffee? Hmm. The Fab Maiden does. Ah, this one sucks. I hate that one. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah. Mm. Uh, maple syrup is the best coffee sweetener. Yeah, yeah, you, you're cutting down on sugar. You know, they're trying to cut down on sugar. You don't want to add sugar and high fructose syrup on top of that. You kidding me? Unless you're using the pure maple syrup, which is like, what, $20 a jar now? God. I remove sugar from my coffee by uh, using cream milk help a lot uh, with removing sugar from coffee. Yeah, there you go. I'm diabetic and I feel that. The cravings are a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Tell me, man. A coffee. Mm, something what i know in the navy told me they put salt in their coffee or it removes the bitterness um yeah i've tried that it does not for me it just makes it more salty how much salt do you got to use i put a sprinkle of it in there i, I don't want to you know make it like i'm just drinking pure sodium you know what i'm saying uh, -na -na. uh i buy coca-cola with coffee there's a dark blend of vanilla uh, it's near the energy drinks where I buy it. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't want an energy drink type soda, you know? What? I'm just saying. Mm, you put the salt in the grounds when you brew it. Oh, you put it in the grounds. Oh. Oh. How much, though? How much? 
what? Like a tablespoon, a teaspoon, what? Oh, can you use like seasoned salt and make, make the coffee taste different? Like a garlic salt. Hey, you want garlic coffee breath? I got you. Eggshells in your coffee grounds removes acid. Yeah, but usually there's salmonella on the eggshell, so you kind of don't want to do that. Unless you're getting all natural eggs that have like the still casing over it. Yo, be careful, bro. Mm, he told me a pinch, a little sprinkle of salt. Oh, all right, I'll try it next time I brew a pot. Yeah, I got the re refillable K cups that I just kind of used, you know, cheap coffee and fill it up and use that. Because I'm cheap. There you go. Honey can... What? Honey can ver verify? Uh, walk by for other flowers can affect the taste of... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, depending on uh, where you get honey from, um, the pollination process can affect the taste. I do have espresso honey. I kid you not. They're, they literally infused espresso in the honey. Oh, it's so good. Dude, you eat that with a spoonful of peanut butter? Oh, dude, it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but the jelly is honey, and then it's also coffee. It's great. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it's fine. Eh. Cook the eggs shells first, then use them. I just want a cup of coffee. I don't want to have to make, a you know, a six course of breakfast before I do it. You know, I'm just like, beep, coffee, you know, I'm that guy. Uh, I usually give eggs a quick rinse before cracking them open. Yeah, I, I, I see, I don't bother with that because I feel like if I'm cooking the eggs, it kind of just kills itself off. I've been making eggs in uh, muffin trays. So they're like little souffles. They're fun. It's fun. I like it. And then I can split them all up and give them different seasonings. And I'm like, oh, let's try that. Ooh, taco eggs. Ooh, jalapeno eggs. You know? I've been doing all sorts of weird things. Onion and herb eggs. You get you got a package of seasoning. I will put it in eggs and make a tiny little souffle that I'll put on a muffin and eat it. It's great. I don't know. That's how you're supposed to make eggs, Benedict. That's what we did the other day. That's what we did the other day. L literally. Literally, the eggs Benedict. We Benedicted it. Bene Bene Benedictine dine. What? I don't know. Mm. Do -do 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 -do. Cooked eggshells can be reused. I'm, I'm not reusing eggshells. Not reusing eggshells. Let's see. Mm, I read a peer review that said eating local honey for allergies doesn't actually work. No! What peer? I feel like that would be a logical thing to do, though. You know, you get you you have local honey. It basically exposes you to all the pollinated crap in a local area. That gets in your system, and then you build up a, a you know, not a super tolerance, but at least you can tolerate stuff a little bit better. I feel like that's uh, like being exposed to peanuts as a kid, so you don't get peanut allergies. I want to know who your peers are. Mm, what's up, Steampunk Chick? Uh, how's it going? So far. So good. We'll see. Yeah. Local honey does help some, maybe not to what people want. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not like you're going to have honey and then all of a sudden you're never going to get an allergy ever, you know. But I know it's supposed to help you acclimate, especially if you get to a new area. Mm. National Institute of Health. I don't know. Can I trust them? National Institute of Health. Because here's my thing, right? Here's my thing. What I've learned about these fancy websites like the Mayo Clinic, right? Yo, when he looked up what his estimated recovery time is and the amount of pain you would be after post-surgery on the Mayo Clinic website, um, yeah, because we're not going to go to Reddit and ask what their recovery time is. We're not going to Twitter and be like, dude, dude, how long to recover from blah, blah, blah? You know, no, 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 no. We want to go to a doctor. They grossly underestimated, grossly, grossly grossly disgustingly underestimated recovery time like yeah you know it could be two to three weeks but maybe anywhere up to you know four to six kind of depends sometimes six months we know we don't know sure they, they totally downplayed it they were just like yeah you know you'll be able to do things in a couple of days what lies issues with doctors they don't prevent illness they just treat it yeah, but at least they, if they, after they treat it, especially after enough, they should know what the uh, what the average of recovery is, the high and low end. 
I don't want anywhere from three days to 12 months. You know, that's, that's kind of a broad spectrum. That's like some saying sometimes during during the day after you get operated on and your death, you'll recover. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I need I, I want a finite three to four weeks. Give me that. Yeah, that and also pain management. Uh, I don't want to hear you. You might feel it. Well, what does that mean? If I got a splinter, I feel it. I also, if my arm gets chopped off, I feel it. There's, 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 a, there's a whole gap of of pain tolerance in between there. You know, well, what, what's what's my pain level going to be here? Here's here's a smiley face chart. Am I am I mildly disgruntled or am I screaming in angst, unable to even dial nine one one because I'm in such agony? Give, give it straight. Give me straight, Doc. What's up? You know. Ah, oh, God. Dude, man, I just, I, I don't know, I can't take it. Mm. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm. And let me get coffee. I've been talking too much. Do, 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 do. I think the problem was the nerves. Too many nerves in that area. It was a weird profile picture. Mm -mm. The hell. Oh, God, oh God, two in a row. <laughs> All right, hurry up with the coffee. All right, where do I leave off? This is a story about the uh, bees in New York City. Uh, we're making red colored honey. It was traced to the red dye in the Master Chino Cherry Factory. I'm surprised nobody turned into a conspiracy where it's a sign of the end times when bees start making red honey. The sky will turn black. The moon will turn to that of blood. And before you know it, all your maple syrup will be red like a congealed whatever. I don't know. Whatever they say. Bigfoot. Uh, no, no. Our coffee cards AI generated. Yeah, you think I'm... I'm Sitting there, right? We're gonna draw out a thousand cards. That's crazy. It's crazy talk. Mm. But AI's gotten better. Like if we go through all the ones that we did early, early on to the ones that are we did a couple of weeks ago, AI got better. AI got good. It's learning. Well, it's learning a little bit too much, uh, according to the chest area. Uh, mulch of ground eggshells over the top of the pine. Uh, what? Pine mean your house plants are growing in many. What? Decrease the population of fungus gnats a bit. I use a flamethrower for that, dude. <laughs> what is that, overkill? Dude, if I see a gnat, I'm literally whipping out the blowtorch. I got a little acetylene torch, and I'm like, I'm coming to get you. And then you see it. <laughs> mm. Do 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 I got, I got to move around a sec. Go. Go to easy mode. Go. All right. Easy mode. Now I got to resituate because I think the rest of the stream is going to be me looking up coffee. Because that's what I need right now. Plus, we got other news to look at. Yeah. What happened to all that art that was supposed to poison AI art? Um, it worked for a little while, and then one of the tech pros are like, all right, let's work around this. Did you know how much art is on the internet that it can just mine from? It pro They probably programmed it to look for those spe uh, specific little whatever, no AI generated things, and basically filter those out. I mean, come on, dude. It's, it's like a, sim a, a simple programming. This the the power hey, hey how's it going? Thank you, Vampire Blaze Wing. What's up? How's it going? Welcome all who are here. You got me in easy mode. What's up? How's it going? I'm going to give you candy. Welcome. You get candy. They might be alive, so do what, do, do what, do what you want. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? What you doing? What's going on there? We were on the way to look up the all-important coffee soda. That's right. There is soda. That is coffee. No longer do you have to choose between beverages. 
They have been fused into one glorious thing. No, like literally, it's like the store I had that I went to, they used to make coffee soda and then I stopped making it. It was fun when it was heavily discounted at like 53 cents a bottle and I bought like 12 of them. That's all they had. They had three, they had three kinds. They had, uh, what, what was it? Like uh, vanilla, mocha, and espresso. The espresso one was amazing. The other two, not so much. So much so that even 53 cents, nobody bought it. It was terrible, okay? But the espresso one was beautiful. It was beautiful. Now it's gone. It's gone forever. Jerks. It always happens. Every time I, every time I like something, somebody's like, yeah, you like this? All right, we're not going to make it anymore. Dude, I don't know why. All right, give me a sec. I got to resituate real quick. Go. Have all the Bezos monies. Bezos money. Bezos. Greetings from Germany. Hey, guten tag. I think I said that right. What does that even mean? I think it's hello, right? Good day? What what did I say? I know all my German from from Ramstein, and I don't even know half the lyrics. That always worries worries me about listening to music in languages I don't understand, because they could literally write a whole song. Go. Oh. Correct. Good day. Hey, I did it. I did a thing. Thank you. All right. I'm going to learn another word later. Uh, no, that, that wasn't by, thank you. That always bothers me. If I listen to something in a language I don't understand, they could literally write a whole song insulting the listener and I wouldn't even know. And then everybody within that culture could have like their own little joke until somebody Google translates it and they'd be like, oh my God, you would not believe what Ramstein said in their B-side B to this one popular song, you know? And it's just translated to like, you know, dumb listeners, you're listening to this, you're a schmuck, you know, whatever. I don't know. That's some massive amount of insults. That'd be kind of funny, though. You can't hide that kind of stuff, though. Because, though. you know, somebody's going to translate it and be like, I'm going to take the time out to translate these lyrics. And then it's going to be like, oh, damn, dude, they just insult their listener, dude. <laughs> All right, one sec. Go. No, not that. Ow. Not that. I wanted to hit the other button. Jeez. And of course, everything's messed up. Ugh, God. All right, we'll put that there. We'll put that there. Get that over there. Get that over there. That doesn't even need to be open. Boop. Bop. All right, I think we got our easy mode engaged. Just gotta move a chair. Yep, gotta move a chair. All right, fantastic. Boop, boop. What? I thought only Guar and ICP did that regularly. Yeah. I'm sure there's other bands. I want to find a J-pop band that has super popular, like, poppy songs, and they're like, everything is wonderful, you know, that kind of thing. But it's just like, their lyrics are like, everyone listening to this is a moron. Keep listening to this, because you are a schmuck. Bum, 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 bum. You know, that kind of thing. Coffee soda. Let's go. Let's go, coffee soda. All right, all right, all right, all right. What, what sent me down a rabbit hole? Boom, right? This is your classic, original... Manhattan Special Espresso Coffee, all right? Here's the thing. You see the price there? That's too expensive. Go, what's up? Ugh, I know they mean well, but my trauma from religious people creeped up when my DoorDash deliverer said God bless to me. No, well, why not? At least, it, at least it didn't say go to hell, schmuck. Thanks for tipping, you idiot. I'd rather get a God bless than that. God bless you. Bob bless you. You know? At least they weren't like, Here's your order. God damn you. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Just just take 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 it as a win. All right. <laughs> what? That'd be kind of funny. DoorDash just, just pops up. Here you go. God damn you. And then just walks away. <laughs> I asked 
chat GPT who Foamy the Squirrel is. Oh, God. Foamy the Squirrel is a character created by Jonathan mm. Ian Mathers, That's me. also known as Jonathan Elville Mathers. What? Foamy is an animated squirrel who stars in a series of... Uh, let's see if it's called around the yours. Character is known for cynical, sarcastic, and over-ranting monologues about various aspects of modern life, society, and culture. Foamy the Squirrel has become an iconic... What? Iconic figure in animation and internet culture. Allegedly. <laughs> All right, well, at least it was something good. Of course, you know, ill will? I don't, I've never been called, what? Dude, you've never been called ill will for your, what? <laughs> Chat. Chat GPT, come on. <laughs> Somebody fix that. Data mine better. Coffee. Go. Oh, I need coffee now. Oh, no, I didn't resituate my coffee. Chat, I didn't resituate my coffee. Hold on. No, I moved the mic. I got to move the coffee. That's how it goes. Move the mic. Got to move the coffee. Move the mic. Got to move the coffee. Move the mic. Got to move the coffee. Dun, dun, dun. I'm literally drinking. All right, here's the thing, right? This coffee, this thing, six pack, $30. One year. Go. Thank you. 12 months. I made it to a year. Yes. Woo. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Zatora. I appreciate. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This thing right here. Dude, you see how they want $30 here? That's where you tell them go to hell. Okay. Because there is no way. There is no way. There is no way you pay $30 for six bottles of coffee soda. This does not happen in the real world. Don't do this, okay? These things are $2 a bottle at best, all right? Stop. Stop. Don't do it. However, keep in mind, it, it, is, it is pretty much the quintessential espresso coffee soda. Look at this one over here. Look at this. 24 glass bottles, $97. What drugs are you on, bro? Bro, dude, why are these prices just so disgusting? This is ridiculous. Dude, this isn't a fine ale that's been aged in like whiskey barrel. Get out of here. All right. Um, I took the liberty of putting coffee soda in, uh, you know, Walmart. You know, you know what comes up? Fanta. Fanta is not coffee soda. So I can't trust Walmart's search results. All right. All right. Fanta, not coffee soda. Yeah. What's up? What's up? I love Foamy. My cousin showed me one of the videos one day and I've been a fan ever since. My favorite. Thank you. Thanks for putting up with our nonsense. And I apologize. New episode Friday. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, so this is this is the closest you're getting to coffee soda here is going to be Dr. Pepper. All right. Thanks, Walmart. You're useless. Um, whatever the hell this is. This Target. Target. Target doesn't know what anything is. Okay, because look. Vanilla cream soda. It says coffee on it. I don't know if it's slingshot. What is this? Has anybody had it? Is it good? $59? Bro. 12 eight ounce things. $59. Dude, what is it? What is it? Starbucks? Dude, why is this stuff so expensive? All right, all right, all right, all right. Ah, what? No, um, no, no, dude. Absolutely. What is this? Third. This has got to be like third-party seller or something, right? Ship tree with red card. Blah blah blah. About this item, overpriced. Grapefruit juice concentrate, dude. You don't put that in there. Why is there cholesterol in this? Coffee doesn't have cholesterol. Get all right. Get out of here. All right. This one, I'm not. I'm not sure of. This one, I'm not sure of. Right. Right. This one, st Stappy. Stappy. I don't know. But, hey, it's Italian. Hey, 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 Italians know about coffee, all right? And foods, all right? You got you can tr trust Italy with coffee, all right? What was that? Have you seen how much uh, sriracha is selling for on eBay because of the shortage? $40 a bottle for sriracha? Why? Sriracha. There's a sriracha shortage. Yo, move on to another spice. God, that's... That's crazy. 
Uh, what the hell is this? What is that? Flan? Flan. Nice. All right, no, no, no. We're, we're, we're focused on this. This, I, I, I don't know where to get this. How much is this? $10 for six. Reasonable? That's reasonable. See? $10 for six bottles. That's reasonable. All right? That's like uh, $1.75 a bottle. I can deal with that. Pepper shortage? I got pepper. Do you need pepper? I got, I got some black pepper in my, in my closet there. You want some? I'll send it to you. Is it a particular kind of pepper? Sriracha shortage. I don't know if that's actually a shortage or somebody's making that up. I could, dude, that's insane to me. Um, all right, yeah, I'm going to leave that tab open. Um, all right, but you know what? Let, let's, uh, what is this? Coffee Boss. Not Boss Coffee. Coffee Boss. It's completely different. I've never had Boss Coffee. Is, any, is that any that good? Because from Japan, I would assume it would be good, but I'm not sure if it's good over here. Like, once it reaches the States, does it automatically turn to crap like most of the stuff that comes from Japan over here? It's like, oh, cool, it's super cool in Japan, and then it came to the States and turned like garbage. You know, like when Net Netflix makes an anime series, you know? Um, love the soda cases, what, 15 cans, three more, what, 12? What? Pepper shortage. It's ridiculous. Call me cheap, but I even hunt down, what, 36 packs of by price. Oh, yeah, dude, definitely. Always look for a bargain. Money doesn't grow on trees, unfortunately. Not the same brand, but the real Japanese Boss Coffee is still good over this side of the Pacific. Oh, cool. There we go. No, because I know it got kind of introduced to the States recently, and I'm kind of wondering if they're keeping the quality up or... They just crapped out, and they're just like, yeah, well, whatever. It's in America now, so who cares? Yeah. Um, let's get, skip to the end. Instructions for making iced coffee soda. Iced coffee soda. Let's go. All right? You don't need a lot of ingredients here. All right? You got to fill a tall glass with ice. Can you do that? I can do that. I'm not a cook, but I can put, I can put ice in a glass. All right? Pour in the coffee. Photo two. There's photos, chat, just in case. All right. And club soda. Money doesn't grow in trees, but pepper does. Yeah, it does. So there you go. So technically, you know, by proxy, money does grow in trees. Get a pepper tree. You know, this time next season, you, you could be rolling out uh, peppers, you know, and then sell them as 100 percent organic. What the hell ever kind of peppers you need to make sriracha kind of peppers, you know, and then you'd be like, look, you can make your own at home. Like I'm going to do here with the coffee soda because it's grossly overpriced. Because I can make my own coffee. I know how to do that. I can open up club soda. I know how to do that. Add simple syrup to taste. Complete iced coffee soda in photo four. Ooh, a complete picture. All right. They tell you how to make this little syrup thing, which is basically water and sugar. I'm not doing that. I'm skipping that step. I'm going straight to the agave because that's a syrup in and of itself. Okay? Yeah. So don't bother with that. All right? All right? And then you make this over here, number four. Number four, that's that, That's our goal right there. I'm wondering if I should use coffee concentrate, chat. What do you think? Coffee concentrate or not? I feel like coffee concentrate would be the best thing because I'm concentrating on making the coffee really strong. But I don't want it to be too strong where it's garbage. You can't. You don't have ice trays. What do you mean you don't have ice trays? What, do you have a block in the freezer that you chip off with an ice pick? What are you doing? I would totally do that. But you lose so much of it, it all falls on the floor. Do -do -do -do. Nah, man, because I got to start making these things myself. Because if nobody's go if nobody's going to make an affordable coffee for me, then, you know, uh, what, what, what am I doing? You know, I can't be sitting around just being like, oh, man, me, me, me. I'm going to make my own. Oh, wait, there's a Brazilian one. Dude, Brazilian coffee soda. Look at that. $16. $16? Are you drugs? Are you drugs? Dude, that's insane. God, I hate this. I wonder if it's like just internet prices are just way overpriced right now. Oh, we got an incoming and break. Come on, three minutes. Coffee concentrate with club soda. See, the website doesn't say coffee concentrate. You know? And that's what confuses me. You know what? Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do both. I'll do a regular coffee and then coffee concentrate and see what happens. 
Coffee time. Go. Coffee time. Everybody have coffee. I can't even bother commenting on these cards anymore. It's out of my control. What's up? Dawn's here. What? I wanted you to tell the people. Oh, the people. People. Tell the people. Listen to people. This is what is happening. Friday. Friday, 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 five o'clock, right? Seven Not only Friday, because yeah, when you talk, it happens here. So, so shoot a shoot a wah, shoot a wah, shoot a wah. Okay, I'm jibda. Yeah. All right, here we go. Friday, right? Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, look, we got Valentine's Day pre weekend fun, which is technically a countdown to discounted chocolate. But during that, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're listening? Free games. You know what free games are? They're games you don't have to pay for. You like that? Yes, you do. All right. Marbles on streams, right? Friday, 5 o'clock. Saturday, 2 o'clock. Sunday, whenever the hell I finish streaming. Easter time. Easter. E what, Eastern? Eastern, she says. Not Easter. Did you know they're sea bunnies? Did you know they're sea bunnies? No note? Let me see if I can find the sea bunnies. Free games beat free chocolate. Yes, free chocolate. I don't know if I can find them. No, I wanted you to see the sea bunnies. Yeah, well, there you go. Free games. Look up sea bunnies. Go, do it. All right, she's being quiet. Because if she talks too loud, it messes up the, the VTuber thing here. All right, later. Free games. What? Monday? Monday? Oh, Monday, we're putting together a, a red velvet gingerbread Cupid, which we're utterly going to destroy because love. At some point. <laughs> we'll probably eat it first and see what happens. What? Pizza Hut starts selling heart-shaped pizzas tomorrow. Oh, good. Yeah, you know, any anytime I think of hearts and pizza, it's just the amount of cholesterol that's going to get lodged into my left ventricle when I eat from there. Bruh. All right, ads are running. So um, in the meantime, I'll put up some coffee cards for people to stare at. And I'm going to see if I can find sea bunnies. And I'm also going to have more coffee. They do exist. Come on, there was a cool picture of it. Um, I'm on that one. Crap. Mm-mm. Do 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 do. Ads are running. What am I gonna do? No, not that. Damn it! That bothers me. I can't find them. Mm. I'm looking for a particular picture, but you know, I could just do a search because I'm an idiot. I want to find a particular picture, right? All right, chat. Let's see. Let's see. Images. Let's look for images. Did you know that there's things called sea bunnies? That's right. They're they're underground, fluffy little things of their sea bunnies. They are literally sea bunnies. Sea bunny. I don't know. Just let that sink in. Let the sea bunnies sink in. Of course, somebody made a plush of it, but, you know. I would want, I would get an aquarium if I could get sea bunnies. Coffee. <laughs> mm. All right, for everybody coming back from the ad, sea bunnies. When last we left off, sea bunnies were all the rage. They exist. Dude, that's crazy, dude. 
It's a sea bunny. What do they do? What do they eat? How do they live? What is their agenda? We don't know. Lull us into a false sense of security, drag us to the bottom of the ocean, and then have a bigger sea bunny devour us all? It's a possibility. You don't even know. No, I'm going to look up some other stuff. All right, let's see. Hmm. Mm, there we go. Boop. All right, let, let's educate ourselves here. All right. Jaruna Parva. All right. Jaruna Parva, commonly known as the sea bunny, is a species of droid nudie branch. It's a nudie branch, chat. A shellless marine gastropod mollusk in the family of the disc. Uh, the species was first described by. Kikutaro Baba. Its resemblance to a rabbit facilitated a surge in popularity on Twitter throughout Japan in 2015. Of course. Species is about one centimeter long on average. It's black and white. Uh, red on my forest. Uh, somewhat resemble rabbit's ears. Blah, blah, blah. External gills are located near its rear. Its body is covered in papillae. Especially protuberances used for sensory functions, giving its appearance of a furry animal. There are multiple colorations of Jaruna parva, including yellow, white, and green. Though the latter is rarely photographed. All these variants have black papillae. Interspr... Inter uh, Why can't I read today? God. Interspersed among papillae of their main color. Uh, there is controversy over whether or not the different colorations are divergent species. Uh, I would say breed, maybe, like cats. I don't know. Uh, like most members, etc., etc. Oh, God, they are tiny. Look at it. Look at how tiny they are. You know? That's insane. Dude. Yeah, all right. I don't think I need them. And thankfully, they're too small for people to be eating, which is good. So maybe they won't be extinct by, you know, 2030. Well, I can imagine just people trying to pick them up and be like, dude, now, nah, man, nah, nah. now they're an endangered species. Sea bunnies, an endangered species, because everyone had to have them in a home aquarium. Yeah. You know that's what happens. Dude, sea bunnies, I had to have a whole aquarium. I got 50,000 of them. That's the entire population. What'd you do? There was a sea bunny controversy. Uh, yeah, right. Well, you know, I got to argue over, over everything. The sea bunny controversy. All right, spooky stuff. You all know I like spooky stuff, right? You all know that. I like spooky stuff. Spooky stuff. Anytime it's weird, it's got to be spooky stuff. You know, whatever. Um, there's an anime that came out. I haven't seen it, but I want to know what it's about. Boom. All right, it's called The Witch and the Beast. Bum, bum, bum. A soft-spoken man with a delicate feature, a coffin strapped to his... A coffin strapped to his back and an entourage of black crows. I'm already sold. I'm already sold. All right. Good. A feral, violent girl. I've met a few. Uh, with long fangs and the eyes of a beast. This ominous pair appear one day in a town uh, in, th in thrall to a witch. A witch. There's a witch. A ruler with magical courses through a body tattooed, blah, blah, blah. So basically this thing goes, these two people go around causing problems. It's dark and spooky. Sounds like a mortal rain. Maybe it is. I don't know. They got screenshots. You want to see screenshots? I know I do. All right. You got that guy over there. This guy's like, hey, look at me here. I got my little coffin on my back. I'm probably a vampire, but, you know, nobody's going to realize that. I'm just, I'm an eccentric person with a unique backpack. All right. This one's looking at bread. I don't know if they're a main character or not, or if this is pertinent to the plot. But this one likes bread. Bread makes you fat? Yes. Yes, it does. We can attest. Um, I don't know. Somebody's wrapped up in magical stuff. So I don't know where that goes. I think this is not terribly mature, so I think they'll be safe. Um, you got some scenic idyllic stuff here. Idyllic scenic. Look at that. That's, that's a nice thing. Ah! Ah! Look at that. Blood violence. Tattoos. Tasman, hi. What's up? 
and apparently a shark in the middle of town. This is what caught me. This is why I had to look into this. I was like, there is a giant shark in the middle of town. Why? Why? Yeah, baby shark, right? Baby shark. Oh, God. Who's spending other people's money? You're spending other people's money? That's the best, that, that's the best thing to do. Dude, anytime somebody gives me money to spend, I love doing that. Land sharks. Yeah, wasn't there that Jinju, uh, Junji Ito thing? They made a little anime out of it. What was it like gyro or something? Yeah, there was shark with octopus hands that were roaming around on like land or something. It was insane. And this one here with the dark evil wings of darkness. All right. And this guy reading paper. Look at him. He's like, I'm reading paper. This is very important. Plus he's smoking. So you know he's, he's not a good person because he smokes according to recent public opinions. I don't care. Uh, what else we got here? And we're back to that. Yeah, but this, this looks like uh, some, kind of, some kind of thing. Oh, dude, it's action, adventure, fantasy, sin, 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 What's sin, sin, Oh, it's got a thing. Oh, my God, it tells me. It tells me. Thank you, Anime Planet. Nice. Uh, translated as youth. All right. Is a demographic aimed at men from late teens to adulthood who understand kanji. I don't know. I guess that's senior men just rarely include. I don't know what any of that is. And I have a wide variety of topics and themes. Sending his counterpart of Josie. Josie? A demographic aimed at women. I still don't understand it. Even the explanation makes me confused. Okay. Isn't youth like 47 flavors in that cult? I don't know. Dark fantasy. Well, I didn't have to translate that. Based on a manga. Hey, it's based on a manga. The mangas. The manga manga. Nice. Content warning, violence. All right. There's violence, chat. Sometimes that's all you need. Just a little bit. The other anime I want to—I want questions about. I need answers about this thing because I've never heard of it, but it sounds kind of cool. This thing. Boom. Rosin Maiden. Okay. I didn't know the series exists, but apparently some toy maker makes toys and they all come to life because they got a weird little magical thing in them and they go on a, a, a thing. It's crazy. Remember those nightmares you had as a child where your toys came to life? Question mark. That's the reality that Jun Sakurata suddenly finds himself living in when Shinku arrives in a box. She's the first of several magical rosin maidens to invade the scheduled life he has made for himself. Since refusing to attend school anymore... Oh, here we go. Dropout. Way to go, dropout. This is why you're getting haunted by toys. Yeah. Uh, and living the life of a hermit. Oh, thank you. Is this like a, a morality tale about otakus? Saint Nan is how you pronounce it, and it's aimed at young males. Saint Saint Anne. Saint Saint Anne. So Super Saint Anne? That's what I'm going with. Ah, no. Thank you, but I'm never going to remember that. I never remember being, you know, word pronunciation for some reason. Every once in a while. I don't know. Uh, worse, he finds himself magically bound. Thank you. Bound to Shinku. Uh, his life force powering hers. Oh, jeez. Uh, she's not too crazy about the way he's been living his life. I feel like this is this is this is going to be a moral tale about otaku's getting too attached to their toys and it ruining their life. I feel like that's a thing. There's there's subtext there. Now I want to see it. Come on, we're all dysfunctional and have toys, right? Dude, I got all sorts of crazy toys from ye olden times. They're almost collectibles at this point. That's how that's how they get you. They're not toys, dude. They're collectible. I can't part with them. No. You know, and you put a lot of time and care into taking care of them and stuff like that. And you got to dust them off. You got to make sure you got to get little things in. And before you know it, the collection you live for now controls your life. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Mm, Japan still demonized the Takus. That isn't that their main demographic for making money? Like that's the whole thing. I can't. I can't understand why Japan is just like, oh no, dude, Otaku is so bad, man. To just sit around and collect toys and watch anime all day. It's like that's what you want. 
If you're a company, that's what you want. That's your demographic. That's your, like, here's our cute character. Buy everything that was made from them. You know? Like Begley with Baby Metal. You know? I feel like Begley is the, tar the target demographic for Baby Metal. Just him. I feel like he's supporting that whole band. They tour to just massive stadiums, but he's the only one in there with his squirrel friends. Who he had to pay for all the tickets for just because nobody else wanted to go. But you gotta go see them. They're just so adorable and cute and full of energy. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I kid. The band is no joke, dude. The guitarist is amazing. Coffee time, go. Taco bullying in the 90s and thousands, 2000s was like nerd bullying in the 80s. Hmm. Kind of weird, you know? But I, I feel like any um, weird Japanese otakus who came over to the States would probably be idolized. You know, they just become Twitch streamers and get super obsessive about whatever it is they like. You know, and people would be like, dude, I really like that too. Yeah, me too. All right, let's go look, travel the world and look for... Uh, more Miku statues, you know that kind of thing. Two coffees, yes, two coffees. Would you not have two coffees? If somebody asked you if you wanted one or two coffees, would you say no? I'm good, just one. Even if you don't drink them both at the same time, you could always put one in the back pocket for later. You see, coffee time, and I say dinner time. Dinner time. I, I have coffee at dinner. Dude, we had cheesecake. We had cheesecake. We had cheesecake the other day. I was happy about that. It was somebody's birthday. We had to go, like, hang out with them. Oh, God, hold on. I have been waiting forever for that to leave my esophagus. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even get a chance to mute the mic. So sorry if you heard hacking like a cat coughing up a hairball. That was me. <laughs> Dude. For those who have like seen seasonal stuff, you ever have like a post nasal drip that just collects in your throat at particular times a year? We just got rid of, rid of a bit of it. Oh, my throat feels so much better. Oh my God, that's great. Oh. Ah, let's get some water to clear that out. Again with the pumpkins by the chest. Do, 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 do. Boom. Nice. <laughs> I just knocked over a thing. All right, whatever. Yeah, it's gross, but hey, after what we've been through for the last month, I, I, anything that comes flying out of my body right now is a win. Unless it's my, my, my internal organs, you know. <clears throat> Does anybody actually own one of these? What? The little robot from the, for the NES. Does anybody own one of these? I've never had one, and I've actually never seen one IRL. Ever in my entire life. I don't know why. I just never knew one who, own, who knew anybody who owned one. Even collectors. Next to this Korean Chinese artist make it, what? Prevalent. Who does? Prevalent. Who's prevalent? What? Hmm... I've never heard of the NES robot. What's it do? Can I play Mario? Well, if you're watching a speed run, yeah. No, somebody, they would they would program something that looks similar to this, and they would have it speed run during uh, the GDQ things. When's the next GDQ? I missed that already. I watched the entire thing. It was perfect. Dude, it was it was like a really good time. Like, I, I, I donated money because I was like, here, take money because I was sick, and I was just watching it the whole time. We ordered pins and stuff that are just never going to show up until, like, May. 
I wanted to get some swag. I got the little acrylic standee and some two two pins. It was cool. We're never gonna see these. All right. Uh, Rob used colored screen flashes to move the gyro between buttons to do stuff on screen. Nice. Yeah, that flashing screen thing, like duck on it and whatnot, like they did back in the day, that was some crazy technology back then. It's like, dude, duck hunt, I'm shooting at the TV and the ducks are exploding. God, I want a good game like that. I got a question. Um, You know, with like the Kinect and all those other weird thing and the PlayStation Eye, how come there hasn't been like a good House of the Dead type remake that utilized those things? There might've been like one or two, but nothing that really took off, you know? And why aren't there games like that now? Because the whole thing that was really cool about those games, especially if you ever played them in the arcade, you get that big beefy gun that you would hold and then be like, pew, pew, zombies are coming at me. Get them. Beep, 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 beep. And it was, it was actually really fun. I like those games. You know, I'm not sitting there with a little controller trying to move it around or just clicking buttons on a mouse. It's like holding that plastic little gun was the, the fun part. I'm surprised no one has made an on-rail shooter for VR. There's, there's got to be. There's got to be. Um, what was it? Uh, Arizona, what is it? Sun, sunrise or something? I think that's a zombie shooter. It's not technically on rail, I don't think. But again, like ha having the peripheral kind of thing. Kind of like, um, what was that Zelda game for the Wii? Where you where you would have the arrow thing and, and you would put your uh, controllers in. And you would kind of pew pew. Like, the Wii was the last system that really had kind of games like that, right? Virtual Cop, Time Crisis, and House of the Dead were awesome back in the light gun arcade days. That's the thing. Skyward Sword. Thank you. Yeah. Like, th those those games, it's like, I'm surprised they have, like, flipping Switch could do that now, you know? Just make a little peripheral that you can just kind of put your controllers in, like they did with the Wii, and just kind of pew pew, you know? Oh my God, my throat feels so much better getting rid of that. Boom, nice. Boop, more coffee. Mm -mm. It's weird. It's like I can never get... Go. I think some people got motion sickness from it. I did not, so I want to play it. Me, 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 me. I can imagine people getting motion sickness from it, but um, it's still fun, you know? There's other weird little games on Steam that try to do that, but it's all mouse clicky, and I, I kind of want the pew pew thing. I want the pew pew thing. I want to shoot at it. What was the game that uh, Cronus gifted us? Uh, what was it, Gal Gun? Yeah, that, that's basically an on-rail shooters where you're just kind of like running around going pew pew. You have a love gun, chat. You got a love gun. That'll be a Steve game. He'll play it one day. It'll it'll be fun for however long. There is a VR version of that, too. Should probably look it up. Uh, oh, well, of course. Hey, there's a Marble. Marble's on stream update. I think it's on sale right now. Hold on. Uh, give me a second. Mm -mm. There's also a lunar sale going on for Steam. I don't know if anyone cares about that, but... I think it was Galgon too. Yeah. Do, 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 do. We got gifted. It's a it's it's a begly game. Boop. There you go, Galgon too. You're you're going around with a little little gun and you're going pew pew to people. Uh, let's let's maybe mute this here for a second. So there you go. They're all like, "Hey, look at you! Hey, whatever! Blah blah blah! See, boo bouncing." There you go. There's boob bouncing chat. And you just you're you're shooting them with heart pheromones or something. Thanks, Krollness. Cause we 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 needed this in our library to mess up our recommendations. <laughs> See, yeah, so that's that's a game there. There you go. It's out. <sighs> Like I have no comment. Yeah, that's that's just that's that's society for you. 
Not, the, the excuse is Japan. All right, that's it. That's all you got to say. Somebody's like, why did they make a game like that? Japan. Oh, okay. There's this universal understanding. Why? Well, Japan. Oh, okay. I'm going to get coffee. <laughs> uh, some people get their jollies in different ways. Yeah. Hey, I'm not anime shaman, okay? You, 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 you be happy wherever your happy place is. Yeah. I think they remastered the first one, too, but I don't know a lot about the series. There was a... God, I think there was another game that got gifted to us. There was this weird stint where... Yeah, for people who listen to the podcast where Begley was like, oh, there's this weird game and whatnot. We got gifted a lot of weird games. I believe that's the censored version, too. Oh, good. No, I mean, like, I'm actually happy about that because I, I literally, I'm not going to play it on stream and just have, you know, hey, look, you're playing this weird game. You're in trouble now, you know. Why would there be an uncensored version? I feel like the characters are a little uh, questionable there, question mark. All right. What was the other weird one? Um, what was it Senron Kagura Peach Beach Splash or whatever? It's basically like a arena fighter with water guns. You know, of course, every every character's got bikinis and stuff like that. So there you go. If you like anime characters in bikinis getting doused with water guns. Peach Beach Flash. Yeah. And then there was Reflections. Wasn't there like a pinball game? I think we got gifted that pinball game. Did we? What game again? What game? Gal Gun 2. It's in our library, thanks to Cronus. Thanks, Cronus. Uh, what was the other weird one? Uh, no. That was that was it, right? That was the other one. No, oh, there was a pinball one. God, what, what the hell is it called? There's a pinball one. Oh God, I just I just smacked the hell out of my webcam. Oh, I'm gonna have to check that. Okay, this is this is the 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 water pistol one. There you go. Uh, you're 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 running around and you you know you're shooting people with water pistols. You know. You know. Japan. That's that's all you need to know. So there you go. Um, God, what, what's the other one called? Oh, one of those kinds of games I like is the Conception series. It's a dungeon crawling RPG where you mate, not literal but close, with your classmates to make many people to fight alongside you and it's also a... Ah, where's it? Uh, also class, uh, to make many people to fight alongside you. It's also a visual novel you can choose a waifu. Nice. This is the other one. This is a pinball. Thank you, thank you. Pinball game where basically all the Senron Kagura characters get bunny costumes or kind of furry-esque costumes and you play pinball somehow. Where? I don't know. So that, that happens. Because, you know, Japan. Oh, there's the pinball. Okay, there it is. That, I, I guess. Thanks, Japan. You make our lives a little bit weirder every single day. Oof. You know, I, 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 I can, I can hear people frantically typing that down. I'm like, what is it? What is it, Peach? Where did I leave off? I miss I miss chat. What? It's fun. Where is that? Eh, is that on Steam or no? Hey, 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Masters got a second anniversary thing happening. According to Steam. Dude! Thanks to your support, Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters Duel celebrates its second anniversary. There you go, second anniversary set. So if you play this, uh, be aware that that's happening. I didn't know it was a thing. There you go. Yes, the Conception series is on Steam. It's made by Spike Chunsoft. Uh. Mm, uh, so that's like, uh, God, there's a lot of them, right? Are these safe for work? Are these safe for work? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that looks more cute than, uh, Weird. Let, let, let me let me do a quick trailer overview here, just so I uh, see where this is going. Mm. The style's pretty good. Looks like they got some nice an anime sequences there. All right, and then burp, 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 burp. I got some attacking happening. This doesn't this this this, this, this doesn't look like it's bad. All right, this doesn't look like it's bad. All right, I, I don't know. I didn't know nothing about this game. All right, look, you got like cute little, little characters and whatnot. Doesn't look that bad, you know. What is it? You got little battles happening and everything. That's kind of nice. Nice. All right, there you go. And uh, suddenly, summon into the magical world of Grenavian. Uh, even when purities to return to his own world, he must save this one with the help of his star child born between him and the 12 star maidens. Uh, th that's all confusing to me. That's that's anime plot right there. So I'll go with it. All right. There you go. Write it down. <laughs> Apparently there's a whole collection, which is only $71.98 for both one and two. Oh, the new one did wait, the new one just come out? Oh, wait, why is the second one only twenty dollars and the first one is then and the first one's sixty? That makes no sense. And it's not even on sale. I'm confused. I'm confused, bro. All right. Mm -mm. All right, close that up. Yeah. No, I'll just go down the Steam thing. Okay. Um, all right. This this, this 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 is disturbing. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, you meant the first one? Oh, the second one was a remastered. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Mm, well, first one. So first one was a remaster. Second one's a new-ish. So when will there be some Persona game time? I have no idea. I have no idea. We're we're literally a little bit behind on everything that we should be doing because reasons. So it's a slow roll to getting back to better. We are going to have to make time for actual activity and physical therapy. So yeah, we got to work on that too. We're going to get our body to a, a non-shattered state and move forward from there. They released the second one first on PC and then rated the first one. Ah, oh, there you go. That's good. I added it to my wish list just in case. I'll wait for a super sale. Super sale. But I, I can't really add more games to my list of things that I got to play when I have probably 500 hours of all the Persona games just waiting. Just waiting. Plus, I want to do the reloaded one. Burp. God. Okay, chat. Did people really wash their hands in public bathrooms like this? Is... Is... Did this just kind of recycle? Like, what is the thing there? Because it doesn't look like that comes off. Like, where do they, does it? Like, did it, did this break off or what? Because this is like attached to there. So was that just like a towel that constantly rotated? You have used one of those. Oh my God, you're still alive? So what was it? Was it a towel that just kind of rotated through the thing? 
and would get dried off. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to the air blowers and then that god-awful industrial paper that is essentially like trying to clean your hands with a cardboard box. It's bad, so bad. Really? Recycled soap on your hands. I remember those. It's supposed to sanitize the towel when it goes back through. I don't believe they did. That's That was kind of my thing. It was supposed to be a towel that was kind of like on a belt, right? And then it would like, quote unquote, get sanitized when it got pushed back. And then you would use it and blah, blah, blah. And it would kind of just keep going. Can you imagine... This is why everybody, you know, older people have really good immune systems because of things like this. Okay? Literally, you went to a restroom, you got exposed to... God, I can't even imagine how many germs. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, uh, you know, this is why a lot of older people don't have allergies for nothing. Because they lived with this. They were exposed to everything. Like, that to me is crazy. Right now, that's that's like a biohazard, you know? And not for nothing. It's not like those air blowers are any better. Because essentially, it just blows all the germs that are on the floors of those bathrooms all over the place. So, yeah, keep that in mind. It's gross, all right? Here's what you do. Wear a shirt that you don't care about and dry your hands on it. There you go. You're taking the germs with you. You know, you're just cleaning it on your own shirt. You can wash it yourself. You know it'll get clean. And... You're not leaving germs for everybody else. Clean and dirty are separate. Really? It's a roll of towel, and the dirty part rolls into another roll. Oh, so it goes into another roll? So then how, do they, how are they cleaned and sanitized? Because I don't know what the back end of that looks like. That, that's what kind of worries me. So it didn't just recycle. It was just one long towel? That's so confusing to me. What's up? Don't use public bathrooms. Hood it till you get home. If you can't go in the bushes. Right? If you can't go to the bushes. Well, that's that that's not, not terribly easy for some people, you know? They change it? Oh, they do change it. I wonder who changes it. Who's it who's the grody towel changer? You know? They're like, dude. You get that announcement? Like you're in a thrift store and they still have those. They're like, yeah, Bob, we need somebody to the bathroom to change the grody towel. Yeah, apparently it's recycling itself now. Yep, there's poop stains on it. Yep, got, no, seriously, you got to fix it right now. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. No, do it now. Yeah, that's it. I'll get on it after lunch. Mm, the towel guy. Oh, God. That's a, that is, that's kind of a scary thing when you think about it. Because even if you're getting a clean part, you know it's just been exposed to all the germs that have been floating around in there. But uh, what are you gonna do? Mm. Do 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 do. Uh, there was another weird Reddit thing I actually wanted to address. Mm. And now I can't find it. Of course. Yo, everybody keeps shifting my reddits, bro. I was just, I literally just saw it, man. Dude. Um, oh, this was interesting, and I'm not going to get into the politi political aspect of it, but it's kind of interesting. Boop. All right, this one over here, right? Uh, the one who got kicked off the Mandalorian is apparently, uh, you know, because they were saying some kind of weird political stuff online that people... Either did or didn't agree with. I'm not getting into it. But apparently, they're suing Disney over the Mandalorian firing with funding from Elon. So apparently, Elon is on this thing about, like, you know, if anybody gets persecuted for their, I guess, social media discussion, they're going to sue or something. I don't know. Um, I am very curious to see how this pans out. Because, you know, political, pol political you know, opinions aside... It's interesting to see. Go. Hello. Hi. What's up? 90 moons. Thorax. What's up? Thank you. I appreciate. That is a lot. That is a lot of moons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. E. There you go. Mm. But 
Thank you. I lost my train of thought because I got there. Ah, yeah. Oh, no, no. It would be interesting. Like, uh, again, political stuff aside, like, you know, do you think people, assuming it's not terrible, terrible, and I didn't even bother reading what they said because I don't care. Assume, and I'm just going with assumptions here. Like, do you think it's people should be ostracized from a work environment merely because they expressed an opinion? Because I feel like that's weird. Assuming it wasn't bad. Assuming it wasn't bad, I don't know what they said because I don't care. All right? So, that being a thing. And uh, I don't know who the Brock Lesnar is removed from the WWE because of things. He was on a cover of the, uh, you know, the 2K24 game, and apparently they removed him. What, he got uh, Vince McMahon is accused of something, and this guy was kind of roped in because of it or something? Allegedly. So they, they literally photoshopped him out. They're like, get him out of here. We're going to make John Cena bigger. Dude, I don't know. But I, I definitely want to see how this plays out because that, that's going to be a kind of an interesting aspect of it. Yeah. Um, there was another news thing that was kind of interesting. Mm. Everyone get your popcorn and slurpees ready for the show. There you go. Dude, that's going to be utter chaos. You know? Oh, this guy, this guy, this guy, I found it weird. Here, here's the weird thing about this guy, right? Uh, the Kamal Nanjani, I'm probably mispronouncing it, and I apologize for it. I have a Western tongue and I'm an idiot. Uh, began counseling to address trauma from Marvel's Eternal Backlash. It was really, really hard. Okay, here's my thing. Bro, bro, where is he? Uh, where is he? Where is he? Give me a picture of the guy. Give me a picture of the guy. There you go. This guy. This guy right here. Okay, with the exception... Selma Hayek. This guy was the, literally the second best part of this movie. I didn't like the Eternals at all, but he was the second best part of this. All right? Because everybody else was forgettable. Now they got to go seek trauma. Okay? Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't even remember this person. I don't know most of these people in here. That's what's-her-face that's not Tomb Raider, but used to be. Um, sunlight. Uh, these guys. Yeah. This guy back here, uh, he, he was like the second best part, all right? Aside from Salma Hayek. Okay, so the fact that this this bro, this dude bro, this dude bro guy, go. Nah, man, you can say whatever you want, freedom of speech. Mm. Even if it's bad or places people in danger, people should just be responsible for what they say. Yeah, but that's not how the human mind works. And if I've learned everything, anything over the last five years... People are far from being reasonable in any aspect of their opinions. So, depending on the variables involved in a person's mouth words, you know, it, it's interesting to see what's going on. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. So, uh, uh, apparently this guy had to go to, like, counseling and whatnot. Counseling, because he, he, people didn't like it, you know? Uh, uh, this is unfair to me. It's unfair, blah, blah, blah. Approach work. Whatever. Okay. Um, God. Dude, and not not for nothing, this bro's been working out. He's got a fine bod, you know? He shouldn't have any confidence problems, you know? Dude, dude's been in so much stuff. I've seen him. I've seen him in a commercial, all right? So this guy apparently had to do, do counseling because, you know, people were hating on a movie. Bro. Like, at that point, why would you even care? And this is what, like, if I knew the person and I had, I had, like, five minutes to talk to them, I'd be like, look, you were the second best thing, aside from Selma Hayek, you know, in this movie. You got nothing to worry about. You did your best. The movie, if it was terrible, that probably wasn't your fault. You read the script, okay? So, yeah, The Eternals as a movie might have sucked, but you didn't suck in it, okay? Relax yourself. You know, like, I go to counseling for this? And you know what? If it bothered him so much, great. You know, he went to counseling and hopefully worked everything out. But I wouldn't in the slightest be concerned about anything anybody says when when you do your best. You know? I'm just saying. You know? Dude, even the guy who played Jar Jar Binks. You know? Dude, that guy had, like, every, every Star Wars fan on the planet hated him. They were like, I hate that guy, Jar Jar Binks. I still don't like the character Jar Jar Binks. The actor, I didn't even know who they were. Let alone that I wasn't so disgusted with the character that I would go out of my way to find out who played Jar Jar Binks just so I can harass them online. I ain't doing that. I don't care. It's a fictional character I found irritating. And you know what? They were directed to be irritating. 
So you know whose fault that is? Not the actor, because they were doing their job. All right? You you blame the writers or directors at that point. Hey, let's make this really annoying character. You got to play it. Yeah? Okay, it's a job. That's it. I mean, what are you going to do? Fight George Lucas on it? Misa thinks this character shouldn't be so bleeping annoying. You know, I'm like, dude, that's not going to happen. Misa thinks you do what you told her, you lose your job. You know, that kind of thing. Mm. Didn't the Jar Jar guy attempt, uh, yeah, dude, he, he had like so much harassment, it really affected them. And I'm like, bro, and it's another person I'd be like, yo, your character sucked, but it wasn't your fault. I feel like some actors, okay, I don't know if there's a fragile ego thing with actors or whatever, but if you're an actor and you're playing a part, you know, there are other variables involved besides your performance. Sometimes you can only do what you can with a script that you're given. Plus, you got to deal with a director who are all above you as far as, you know, movies go. So even if you have a fragile ego, I wouldn't dwell, you know, two seconds on a review, a critical blah, 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 that kind of thing. Like, what, whatever, dude. You know, dude, dude's got a ton of money, been working out, looks fine. You know, he's worried about a review. Get out of here. You know? Mm. MCU Disney fans more like yeah there was um what was the other article I think it was uh was the Game of Thrones guy J.R.R. Martin was uh he did some kind of like observational thing about to toxic fandom that has become more prevalent in the internet you know and they're like yeah this is kind of like getting out of hand and I'm like yeah big surprise but then, you know, part of me is like, finish the book, Martin. Martin, get off the internet. Stop worrying about the toxic, you know, fans right now. All right? You got to finish your work. So, I just assume it's because of all the stupid people sending awful things to them that messes with their heads. Why? Why? Okay, here's the thing. After 20 years of dealing with weird crap sent to us, um, like, dude, after a while, you shake it off. And this person's not new to like movies they're not like oh i'm a brand new shiny person this is my first acting gig no not at all so like what like i, I don't i don't get it you gotta shrug off some of it yeah jake lloyd i don't believe ever went back to acting because of it and he was just a child he was just a child yeah well his parents should know where were the parents that's the thing where were the parents probably cashing his checks um yeah that, that's the, that's kind of the whole thing it's like I, you can't you can't attack an actor for the way they portray a character because, you know, we're, if you want to address the issue in a civilized manner, haha, -ha, internet, you know, you maybe shoot off a text or an email to say the writer of something and be like, you know, you really took this franchise in a terrible direction. I didn't like what you did, blah, blah, blah. And these characters are he fill in the blank. Schedule more counseling visits. Wait till he find out there are a large group of people who really doesn't care about him. Right. There you go. And then there's going to be a point where he's going to be like overexposed in the public eye like uh, Chris Pratt. And people are like, God, I'm just so sick of him. I want him to go away. You know, that kind of thing. Dude, he does. Vo he's, he's voicing every character on the planet right now. Who does he think he is? Mel Blanc? No, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe stick to Gardens of the Galaxy. Me and Parks and Recreation or something, bro. You know, that kind of crap. And I'm just like, you know, after a while, it's just like, come on. Whatever. It's like, I, I don't know. If you, you can't get into acting, music, or whatever, and, and take comments seriously. Because there's a fine line between comments and constructive criticism. Yeah. But on a plus side, hey, we, we, we unlocked the Black Swan. Surprisingly enough, in one of our roles. Star Rail. It's a new character. It's a little fortune teller. It's kind of cool because it's kind of creepy. Because it's like the special is like it, it shoots out these like little hands um, from, from from like stained glass windows. Where is it? Where I know they got a screenshot in here. Look, see, there it is. She, she's cute. She's like, hey, look, I'm a fortune teller. But where is it? Where is it? Where, where are the hands? Where are the hands coming out of stained glass? There you go. Brah! The stained glass windows. Oh, God. They're all coming after me. Brr! Scary hands. Cool. That's just me randomly changing the subject. And getting coffee. Go. <laughs> mm.
Now I'm out of water too. What the hell, man? Boom. Mmm. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, there it was. Mmm. Boom. That's it. That's the article. Wonder Man crew member dies after onset accident. Wonder Man. Let's see what this 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 is. Uh, this character. Mm hmm. Do you think that do you think they need a series? I I don't know much about them. So that's it. But anyway, a uh, guy was hanging out on rafters doing something. Died after falling from a rafters. Boop. No, no. I don't know. Good vibes, but you now there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff people don't realize that's actually kind of dangerous. Yeah. That's weird, right? Who the heck is that? Who? Wonder Man? I, dude, I don't know. It's it's a thing. That's another Marvel character. They're like, hey, let's do this. You know what I would like to see? You know what kind of Marvel series I would watch? I would like to see a Marvel series. Just one season about the X-Men character Storm. That's what I would like to see. Just one season. You make one good season to have their backstory or whatever, up until that's what they should do. This is what they should do with the X-Men to get them into the MCU, right? Here's what you do, all right? You take each one of your X-Men there, right? You make a nice little episode, standalone episode or season, depending on how, you know, robust their backstory is. And you make all that stuff lead, it, lead up into one giant X-Men movie. That's what you do. You know, you make a Wolverine Origins series, not a movie. Um, you know, you can do a Cyclops thing and maybe tack on some of the other characters on there. Storm, uh, Rogue, all those people, you know, Professor Xavier, you know, Magneto. I know they kind of shoehorned all that stuff into a thing, but, you know, dude, there's so much lore to draw upon. Why don't you make a whole like series about each character? Huh? OSHA doesn't exist on film locations. I feel like they should. If OSHA can be called in because of loose wiring in a record store, I feel like people hanging out on a rafters would kind of garner the attention, nay, need of OSHA, you know? Boop. And there you go. That's the other one. Evil Dead franchise getting a new spin-off film from director Sebastian Vendisalve. What is what is it with me and non-English names? I can't understand. A new, new Evil Dead film is in the works with Sebastian Ven Venisic, Venisic, reportedly attached to direct and co-write the project. Deadline reports said Venis, uh, who made his feature debut with the skin-crawling French horror film Infested, A.K. Vermins, last year uh, was hired to helm the next entry in the Evil Dead franchise for Sam Raimi and Robert Tapperts. Ghost House Pictures, shortly after he signed with the Creative Artist Agency. Call for representation. Despite the film's plot being under wraps, okay, basically nobody knows. 16 things you probably didn't know about the Evil Dead. Uh, do we do this, chat? Do we? Do we? Really? OSHA has no involvement with OSHA? How's that even possible? What, what, what is Hollywood like the Vatican where they have their own sovereign nation of non-safety standards? What the hell? Oh, God. All right. Let, let, let's do it. So they are. They are their own little sovereign nation. Well, if I can't read this, this isn't really... I can't read this. Why is it so tiny, bro? Bro, I, I, I can't read that. No? Like, no? All right, well. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But that, that's just silly. Uh, let's see. The first film was shot in a single cabin and everyone slept there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dude, that's gross. That's gross. Uh, Passion Project, cabin which was mostly used as a hunting station. Uh, when it wasn't, you know, being rented out as a Lovecraftian helmet. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we got that one. People slept there. Stephen King was key to its popularity. 
Ah, there you go. The Evil Dead, Why You Haven't Seen It Yet and Why You Ought To by Stephen King. This is why it's important. Stephen King was like the influencer back in the day. You know, like VTubers and streamers are like influencers right now. That's what that's what Stephen King was back then for horror. You know, if you got the Stephen King, you know, stamp of approval, you'd be like, dude, I, I got it made, dude. I'm making bank now. Thanks to Stephen K. Thank you. You know, there you go. Super important. So if you are somebody of stature or importance in the world of media, you know, give a shout out to people who are doing good because they need it. Ash's longevity was not in the original plan. Well, you damn be lucky it be longevity, you know? Because the last thing we need is an Evil Dead movie without him, all right? Because it's a little less fun. Uh, okay, uh, Ash was never meant to endure as a decade-spanning deadite slayer. Oh, go to hell. I don't even care what the original plan was. It's Ash or nothing. There you go. Freddy versus Jason versus Ash. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. That's kind of crazy. All of them. Madness. Boop. All right, let's see. Rami hired ambulances for the Evil Dead premiere to scare viewers. That's probably one of the last few theater tactics. You know? Like, you know, oh, it's so riveting, you know, to hand out vomit bags back in the day. Oh, if you can't handle it, your money back. If you die during this showing, we'll pay for your funeral. You know, that kind of thing that old hokey movies used to try. Dude, if you drop dead, we'll pay for your funeral. Wait, what? Now I got to see this. See, a wise person would be like, wait, I could drop dead watching this? No, I'm not going. No, it's just a gimmick. I'm not risking it. You're not going to drop dead. It's just a gimmick. I could. Yeah, but the play for the funeral, so it's not a problem, right? No, it's still a problem. Rip William Castle, the great producer to use gimmicks, right? The electric chairs and stuff. The tingler. Uh, that's kind of cool, though. Freddy's glove gets a cameo in Evil Dead 2. Does it? Oh, God, it does. It's right there. It's right there. I never noticed that. Dude, I learned something. Look at that right there. Right there. right there how'd they do that how'd they do that that's pretty cool was it actually him there are a couple of west craven easter eggs in the first two evil dead movies but the biggest one comes in 1987 uh evil dead 2 dead by dawn oh, okay it was it was that one i thought it was the first one i was like didn't the first one come out before nightmare on Elm street but i don't know ah holly hunter could have been bobby joe oh god Oh, God. Hello, what's up? Hey, Thrax, what's up? Rosebud. Evil Dead 2 producer got uh, around X-rated issues by creating a loophole production house. What? Thanks to Stephen King's Reeves about the Evil Dead and the film becoming a cult hit, veteran producer Dino De La Norvandesis who had been successful for decades and would produce 80s Stephen King's movies like Dead Zone and Firestarter, took a chance on an Evil Dead follow-up. Uh, the original idea, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Evil Dead 2 would be a comic, blah, 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 blah. That's gory. Da, 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 da. Uh, prohibited, to re prohibited him from releasing the X-rated films. X. To get around it, Raimi helped create a loophole production house... Rosebud Releasing Corporation, basically a shell company run by the Lord of Rivers, son-in-law, which allowed them to distribute the movies without the MPA's influence and not have to create an R-rated version of the movie. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. See, chat, this is what you have to do. You have to make shell corporations run by your son-in-law merely so you can get around MPAAAAAA ratings. For good films. Here we go. God, everything's so tedious. Creativity is so tedious, you don't even realize it. Oh, Hannibal Lecter contributed to Army of Darkness's delay. Really? Yeah, Stephen King was the only author to have a deal with Dino. Hey, 
in the 80s. Uh, Thomas Harris created the Hannibal Lecter series. Also, kept blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's get to this point. Red Dragon. Uh, uh, Silence the Lambs. However, due to a legal battle over the rights to the Lecter character, some joint projects between Universal and Deliminamentus were put on hold, which is one of the two reasons the third Evil Dead movie, Army of Darkness, had to release its delay. Ah, that big deal. That is a big deal. What is this? Universal changed Army of Darkness. What? Our original darker ending. Why? I wanted a darker ending. The Evil Dead movies finally saw Ash Williams, Portal Back Time, which is what Remy had originally and Arthur Evil Dead, but Universal... Uh, who's making the movie mostly wanted a standalone film so audiences wouldn't think they had to see previous films to catch up. And it would be Universal's meddling that also led to the film's delay, pausing it from summer of 1992 to February 1993. Since the studio took over post-production and changed Remy's original ending, which they thought was too much of a downer. Oh. Oh, gee, horror movie's too much of a downer, guys. Guys, I'm not, Universal. You know you know what, Universal? D do a dark universe. Make that work, all right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Danny Elfman scores The Undead. Yeah, I know Danny Elfman did that. Come on, dude, I have the soundtrack, bro. Uh, 20 Evil's Dead reboot. Uh, spared no expense on blood. Okay, good. All right. Yes, there was an Evil Dead video game in the 80s. What? Yo, I knew about the ones in, like, the original, like, Xbox era, but, dude, really? Evil Dead, the game, marks the 10th ten Evil Dead game made. Uh, okay, that was, wow, dude, there was 10 of them? Oh, my God. Uh, doing consoles and iOS, and, well, most remember the franchise's first big game outing being 2000's Evil Dead. Hey, hail to the king. The officially licensed game that started it all was actually 1984? 1984 for the Commodore 64. Bro. Bro. How come I've never seen this speed run? Dude, GDQ, get on this. Oh my God. Oof. All right, that, that's, I did not even know that existed. That's pretty good to know. That, that's use, useful knowledge. Bruce Campbell is always willing to voice Ash in games. Yes, that I know, because he's in there. An unexpected original cast member returned for Ash. Yes, I saw it. Uh, Evil Dead's Ash Williams won't be seen in his live action form again. Never say never. Never say never. Ash vs. Evil Dead, what? Lasted three seasons and ended with, of all things, I'm not going to spoil. So, nope. No spoilers. Go. 57 months of giving you the Bezos bucks. Bezos bucks, thank you. I appreciate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Zarel. Thank you. I appreciate. Commodore 64. Dude, I can't believe there was an Ash uh, Evil Dead game for Commodore 64. Dude, that's like ground zero of gaming almost. You know, aside from having a pinball game in the 60s, it's like, <laughs> dude, that that's really kind of insane. But all right, that's good to know that it exists. Um, hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, God, there's another another monster catching game coming out. Oh, yeah, apparently Pal World is getting screwed with their. Uh, that's oh, no. what happened to the Little Shop of Horrors movie. The regular stage ending was filmed for the movie, but because it didn't test well with audiences, they made the cheeky good ending where Seymour and Audrey live in their dream house, but at the end they tease another. Well, where? Uh, cheeky good ending where Seymour and Audrey live in their dream house, but at the end they tease another Audrey 2 plant surviving. I hate when I do that. <laughs> it's always something. What is Dice Folk? Thank you, thank you. Um, I don't know. This auto played. Dice folk. I just saw this. What is this? You're strategizing. Oh, this looks like a, another Pokemon thing. Pokemon? Not. 
And apparently you're getting characters, you're battling each other, and more of that. Okay. So, there you go. Dude, no, the, uh, what do you call it? Power World is getting wrecked with server costs, apparently. What is it, like a yearly cost of like $6 million? Why? Why are server costs so expensive for a game? This makes no sense. Give a Dead game on Steam. Epic Games is pretty good. Oh, dude, the multiplayer one? Yeah, that is pretty good. It's got a standalone campaign, too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but Pal World, I don't know how much money they're actually making if they're paying $6 million in annual server costs. Dude, that's insane. $6 million. I, I, I'm never going to make that in my lifetime. Let alone spending it on a server in one year. Bro. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just seeing if there's any other weird news. Hmm. Oh, Tom Holland cast in London West End revival of Romeo and Juliet. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I'm not going to be there, so I probably won't be able to watch it. Oh, no, somebody put it on YouTube. Yeah, and everyone's just talking about Super Bowl ads. I don't care. Original ending for Seymour. What? Mm, feeding the digital to the plant. Then the uh, what? The plant tricks and eats him as well. Time passes, and small Audrey two plants are being distributed to everyone as the alien plant invasion begins. That would be fun. I'd watch that, and then you can make it a Netflix series of all these little plants and how to be like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, but with plants. Nice. Mm. The Dead game got, uh, what? Game of the Year, and then it discontinued? What, they discontinued it, or got discounted? What, is... Is the Evil Dead game not supported anymore? What happened? Oh, the Blu-ray version has that uh, that ending remastered? Oh, nice. I never got that on Blu-ray. All the singing, you know. I'm iffy about that. Silent Hill, the short message, passes 1 million downloads. I cannot be impressed with a game getting 1 million downloads if the game is free, okay? Uh, those aren't stats I'm impressed by. Dude, a million people downloaded it. Oh, gee, a world-recognized franchise that you're giving away for free gets a million downloads. Big surprise, bro. Yeah, keep that out of your portfolio. Discontinued? Discontinued? Oh, the Game of the Year edition. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. I think I have that, do I? Let me see. Mm -mm. No. Mm, let me look it up. Not Evil Dad. What the? Evil Dead, dude. Oddly, I don't have this. Weird. I got it on console, but usually I, I try to get stuff on PC. Why do I not have this? Eh, it's on my wish list. Mm. I know, it's like I played it on console for a little bit, and then I ended up getting, I got, like, distracted. Multiplayer games are iffy. Huh. The one Dead by Daylight Ghostbusters game is also defunct, right? Um, oh, uh, what, Ghost, Ghost Unleashed or whatever it was. I don't know if it's necessarily defunct as it is not many people are playing it. This is what happens when your game launches as an epic exclusive like the Evil Dead game did on PC. It's like you're basically cutting out a large portion of your player fan base. So, you know. So the graphics for Apple VR is insane. Plus you, what, see through better, but why so much? $1,000? Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting an Apple Vision thing. I, I even feel like the new Oculus that just came out is too expensive. And that, that's considered reasonable. Well, 
I'm looking up a thing. I think I'm all caught up on that crap. I'll think so. VR still has a long way to go. Um, I feel like there's this, it, it's really difficult for people to adapt to VR, or not adapt, adopt. Um, because there is that setup process, and you're going to laugh. You will laugh, okay? I feel like part of the reason, aside from the cost of VR not taking off as much as it, as it has, people have to put on a headset that doesn't allow them to look at their phone. If you're playing a game on a couch, right? You're doing couch co-op, whatever. You're playing on your PC. You still have access to your phone. You can look at your phone whenever you want. Look, it's right there. I got a message. You know, I got a fight on Twitter real quick. Let's hold on. Hold on. Pause the game. All right. If you get immersed in a VR game where you don't have access to your phone, people are going to freak out. People are going to freak out. And you might laugh and be like, blah, blah, blah. But younger people who really like their phones and are on it constantly, to them, for them to put on something that blocks out them having access to their phone is a hurdle. Whether they recognize it or not, it is a mental hurdle. Once VR can sync up their the phone to actually show in the screen all the time, people will then adopt VR. You can't see your phone. Yeah, but how many people know that? I didn't know that. Don's got a quest. I didn't even know you could put your phone in there. Of course, I don't look at my phone. The whole point of VR is to get the hell away from the phone. There's an irony there where the virtual world invaded our life so much that we have to put on a separate device to get away from the real world because the virtual one keeps by bothering us. I have to put on a separate headset and get immersed in a fictional world and a wonderland of fantasy merely because my phone won't stop going off with stupid things. Ridiculous. The Apple one can. Oh, well, that was smart. They made it connect to all your Apple stuff. Oh, okay. All right, there you go. So that might actually help them. So if the Apple Pro can do it, then I could see like a lot of, you know, iPhone people, but not for nothing. I don't make it. Uh, I don't mean anyone to feel bad here. Kids, now look at iPhone as an old person's phone. It, it, it's, it's, it's like, it, it, seriously, it's like, it's like a calling card to them. Okay, it's they're like, ew, ew, an iPhone. I'm not even joking. They're mostly Android. Not even joking. My quest does link up to the phone. Oh, nice. There you go. But I mean, again, it's like I really I really think that's such a hurdle that people will have to come over overcome to, you know, adopt it mentally, because even uh, the PSVR is kind of doing meh. You know, and there was some good games for the PSVR, but it's it doesn't have the catalog that PC does. And it's just like there is like you can't use your phone. So I don't think a lot of PS, you know, users are going to be like, dude, I've got to be in PS4, you know, VR all day. You know? At least that's my perspective. <laughs> Down with Apple. Hmm. Oh, it'll make a resurgence, you know, because then eventually as the young people who are into Android grow up, the next generation is going to be like, ew, my dad used an Android. I'm going to get an Apple. Yeah, so then they're going to have an iPhone and then the cycle is going to continue. Kids do the opposite of their parents to try to build their own identity when they don't even realize that their genetic identity is encoded and they're generally just going to be older versions of their parents when they get to their age. You know, that's just like, that's what happens. People don't even realize it. Most of the time, 90% of the time, your your habits and stuff are shaped and molded by your parents, for better or worse. Most of the time. People have to be really self-conscious and aware to actually overcome that. They should have waited till they had like 30 games for it and weren't just ports. It would have been done better. Uh, yeah, dude, it would have been done. It would have been better. Uh, I don't know. Did anybody play any of those like Newer VR games, like did the Assassin's Creed one comes out for the uh, Oculus 3? Cha-cha. 
I'm going to try to get a little bit of coffee out of here. I know it's going to be cold, but I'll try anyway. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm with the pumpkin top. Ugh. I'm waiting for Apple Vision Pro 2. Yeah, it is always a second iteration. Unless Apple's just like, nope, not working. They had a really good speaker back in the day that they only made one of, and then they stopped making it. It was like, what, the Apple Hi-Fi that you would dock your iPod into it? Dude, it was, it was an exceptional speaker for what it was. It was overpriced, but it was exceptional. I got mine at a thrift store for 75 bucks. Yeah, <laughs> that thing is beefy. And the price alone makes the Apple one not worth it. Yeah, dude, it's way too expensive. You know, I just, I, there, I don't think there's anything really that great on it that you wouldn't play anywhere else. You know, like I could just play this on a device that's a lot, hell, hell of a lot cheaper. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that works. Um, I'm trying to find something for you, chat. Hold on. Mm -mm. Nope. That's all silly. Never mind. Mm -mm. Let's see. Mm, people buy it, it will only encourage others to bring their prices up. Yeah, they're going to do it anyway. Uh, but apparently, uh, price is going up. Apparently, the CEO of McDonald's is all, you know, like, hey, we've heard your customer feedback that our meals are grossly overpriced for what they are. And we're, we're, we're going to, I'm paraphrasing here. I'm paraphrasing here. We're going to work hard to lower the prices to make it be more affordable. Because apparently everyone's eating at home right now because getting a Big Mac and fries is like $18. Yeah, McDonald's. You know what? You're known for cheap food, okay? You're fast food. You're, you're, you're not flipping, I don't know, five guys. That's, that's kind of whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what to compare it to because I don't think there's any decent burger places anymore. Hmm. You can work on your computer with Apple Vision Pro. Why would I do that? I have a computer. You can do that with Oculus, too. You just toss that on your head, and you, it'll basically mirror your desktop to a huge screen. God, the last thing I need is, is that squirrel in my eyeball that close. it will burn out my retina and just have his angry little face stuck in there for all eternity. <laughs> Dollar menu is now $5. Yeah, that's the go bleep yourself menu, because I ain't, I ain't eating there. I think that's what a lot of the reasons why people just eat at home now. We we bother we don't bother going out anymore. One because people are coughing on everything. Two, it it's just way too expensive for what you're getting, you know. There's no way I'm going to McDonald's and plunking down twenty dollars on a lackluster meal that can barely constitute as food. All right, you know their fries aren't nearly as good as they used to be. Their milkshakes never machines never work, you know. They don't even have those deep fried pies anymore. They don't have cookies. You know, their burgers are I uh, quote unquote burgers. Yeah, you get even less now, you know. Dude, I've seen pictures of people with their meals and I'm just like, how much you pay for this? Dude, I knew somebody was like, yeah, if you go to McDonald's, you're, you're probably going to spend around 15 to $18 just getting a Big Mac and like a soda. And I'm like, what? I'm like, how is that even possible? Like, isn't it like $7 for a Big Mac? Dude, that, that, that thing used to be like three bucks. You know? That It should literally not be more than, more than $4. You know, hey, hey, you know how much ground beef you can get for $4? You know? You can make a lot of burgers. Even if you get the cheap meat, all right? It's probably still going to be more meat than what's at McDonald's. Just saying. It was $13 for a turkey sandwich at Arby's. No fries or drink. Oh, Arby's of all places. Oh, my God. They should be paying you to eat their food. Are you guys kidding me? God. Dude, I can't imagine what, like, a, a appetizer platter at Applebee's is right now. Anybody got a real, real world price on that right now? No, they used to have that really good appetizer uh, kind of platter that had, like, 
buffalo chicken. Last time I went to McDonald's, I got a medium fries with two quarter pounders with cheese, and it was $25. Oh, hell no. Dude, that's what I would pay in a diner. Or that's the equivalent of diner prices. You know, diners usually have better food, even bad diners. That, that's what I'm saying. It's like crazy. Because I, I would be able to get a burger, fries, and a drink probably for maybe 12 at a diner. Now, at least a couple of years ago. I don't know about now. But even if it was like 15 or 17, it's still cheaper, right? At least the quality of food is better. Go. I'd cut they are going to do it considering most of their stores are franchises. They might be able to make some profit, but it's not the same as what the actual corporation makes just for rent for their stores. Nah, well, you, you know what? It's We got to get to the point where we just get rid of fast food altogether and just make real food affordable for people. I feel like people... here. Here's the thing. People will go out of their way to make their own food if it's affordable, if the ingredients are affordable. So, like, if we could get, like, you know, fresh ingredients that haven't been covered in pesticide and death, you know, for a reasonable price, we will make our own food. The reason fast food became super, 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 you know, important to everybody was because it was cheap food done fast for people who had really bu busy lives. All right. So here's the thing. Expensive food that's not good. That is kind of done in a mediocre amount of time. It, that It's not worth it. It's not worth it. That was the whole thing. Dollar menu was a thing. You know, that kind of stuff. Where it's like, I will go to McDonald's or Taco Bell or something like that because I just need to throw something in my stomach for a couple of bucks. At that point, I'll go to a gas station and get a power bar. You know? Like, if you're literally just hungry and you want to save money, just, just get one of those protein bars from a flipping gas station. Yeah, it's not going to be a burger. Yeah, it's not going to be fries. But you know what? It's probably going to be better for you and probably have more nutrition in it than the entirety of that meal that you just ate. You know? And I'm not some hippy-dippy person that's going out eating their own lawn just because I want to be closer to Earth. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying as far as quality of food goes, I, I don't think, think fast food, any of them, are bringing anything to anybody of any value. Just my opinion. What about having the time to cook? Yo, you can get a microwavable meal for five bucks. That's probably more nutritious. You ever seen those Power Bowls? Dude, those Power Bowls are actually pretty good. They got a lot of protein. The ingredients are relatively good. They don't taste terrible. You know, the majority of their packages is like 90% recyclable. They're not bad. Even if you, you know, want to put a little extra chicken in one of their things to kind of bulk it out or whatever, it's still going to be cheaper than going to McDonald's. You know? The thing takes five minutes in the microwave, and it's it's probably going to taste better than the food that you got. Not an endorsement. I just literally ate one of those things, and I was like, damn, for five bucks, it's pretty good. Dude, I could usually get them for like $3.99 if I catch them on sale. The, the sodium isn't isn't terrible in it. You know, they have a... God, what are they? I'm going to look them up. There you go. It'll be a nice little endorsement for them. Maybe they can lower their prices. Because when they're not on sale, I don't buy them. Uh, let's see if I can find them. Uh, there you go. Oh, they're, they're made by a Healthy Choice. These things. Boop. These little guys here, right? Healthy Choice Power Bowl. They have adobo chicken. What is this? Uh, dude, the Greek one? Dude, you add extra feta into that? That is beautiful, all right? Uh, whatever the hell this is. I haven't had the spicy black bean one. Uh, the more spicy. They have a pesto bowl that's pretty good. But if you see any of these floating around the store and you want to save money but don't have a lot of time, they're not bad. Eh, disgusting cardboard meats. Eh. Mm, grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell has like 220 milligrams of salt in it. So it's expensive. It will give you a heart attack. Yeah, pretty much. Dude, that's what I'm saying. I used to eat Taco Bell all the time, and I enjoyed it, like the chalupas and all that other weird crap that they had back in the day. But now I'm like, I wouldn't even look at the stuff. Because I also lived in an area at the time that actually had a real Mexican restaurant slash Mexican diner slash other really good Mexican places where I could get real food made by actual people who know how to make the food. All right? Not some slap together thing that's shipped frozen. Yeah. You know? So, I, I don't know. After, after that, I'm just like, yeah, whatever with Taco Bell. Yeah. I'll, I'll go in there for the free hot sauce packets. Yeah. 
I literally walk in there, look at the menu, and then pocket a bunch of hot sauce, and then just go home. Instant pots or air fryer. Almost cook anything. Yeah, there you go. Plus, there's that. If you just want to make a bunch of meals, you just do it slow cooker. Throw it in there. You know? Even we did that with uh, chicken and pasta. We literally just slow cooked pasta in a bunch of sauce with a bunch of chicken. Dude, we got like seven meals out of it. It was insane. And I think it cost, let's see, seven meals for 13, 14, 15, 16. I'll, I'll round it up. I'll round it up to 20 bucks. I got like seven meals for 20 bucks by just doing a slow cooker thing with chicken. And the chicken was good. We're talking like really good home fed, kind of roaming around, free range, haven't been, you know, poisoned or imprisoned kind of chicken. All right. Decent chicken. We just tossed in there with a bunch of like pasta. We just let it cook in there. It comes out like a chicken lasagna. It's beautiful. You know? Yeah. And the low, low sodium sauce, low sodium, sodium sauce. They do exist. All right. So we did that. Some fresh herbs in there. Ah. And dude, seven meals, bro, seven meals. That's insane for 20 bucks. Seven meals. And I'm not talking about small meals. I'm talking about you, you divvy up like, God, what? Two pounds of chicken and a pound of pasta. I'll get an $8 rotisserie chicken from the store. That is enough for three meals. Oh, and yeah. Make stock out of the bones. Not bad for $8. There you go. That's another thing. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Dude, rotisserie chickens. Dude, you can even go to like one of those, um, you know, little supermarkets where they have the little heated chickens and a thing. You just grab one of those. Dude, get a can of vegetables. Boom. Three cans of vegetables and a rotisserie chicken. You figure three meals with a bunch of vegetables on the side. Dude, this is going to be like 11 bucks plus tax, $12. Fine. You want to round it up to 15 because you got fancy vegetables? Fine. Well, let's do that. Super cheap, easy to make. Nice. That's what I'm saying, man. We got to just be more cost effective with what we eat and what we buy because everything's so grossly overpriced. It's ridiculous, especially when it comes to fast food. Yeah. You know? And people are like, you're paying for the convenience. No, I'm paying for food so I don't die. I don't I don't care if it takes an hour or 12 minutes. All right. I'll time it out so I arrive when it's finished. Make it cheap and good. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Everything expensive nowadays. Comic books. What? $100 video games. $100 action figures. $100. Yeah, I think $100 is the new $5. Like when you were a kid growing up, oh man, this costs like $5. Now it's like, oh man, this costs like $100. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. So what are you going to do? Uh, dude, it's like, what are you going to do? Plus there is like meal prep plans. Like you can kind of make a bunch of different ingredients and, you know, divvy them up amongst different flavors if you don't want like the same thing every other day. But, you know, not for nothing. I, I wake up. Here, 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 here's my eat cycle. I wake up, right? I have coffee and a protein bar, and I get right to work, right? Um, basically, what, for lunch, I'll have whatever the hell's available, honestly. Right now, it's like yogurt with some mixed fruit, right, for lunch, which I had at, like, what, 1230? And then, uh, what, for dinner, I'm probably just going to have, what, vegetables and... Uh, I don't know if we have some kind of chicken thing. Uh, I think I got weird protein plant nuggets or something. They're on sale, chat. Don't judge. Um, so, I mean, I, I try to keep it simple and efficient because, you know, my time my time is valuable. Um, but really, I'm, I'm not going out of my way to just, like, God, I, I hate it. I just, I'm, I, I got to get off the topic. I, I got a question. How much is Red Lobster now? Like, how, how much does going to Red Lobster cost? You know when they used to have the Admiral's Feast kind of thing? Or to give you like a little bit of lobster to give you shrimp and stuff like that. What does that cost now? Because I know what the price used to be. All right. I don't know what it costs now. I'm kind of worried about it. I'm worried about it. Now, Don wanted to go to the Red Lobster. Because we haven't been to one in like three, four years. And I'm curious as to how much they cost. I think I read somewhere that grocery stores actually lose money on the chicken. Yes. Good. They're losing money. That means I'm gaining money. Mm -mm. Boop. way too expensive for microwave food <laughs> yeah i know i i know but I'm, I'm just saying for for red lobster the only reason i would I, I god every time i go to red lobster the only thing i can really get is like a chicken salad and eat a bunch of those biscuits because i do not like fish at all i don't like any kind of fish 
I'm on the website. I'm not seeing prices. I guess it's one of those if you have to ask, you can't afford it kind of things. Mm. Maybe I'll call up. I'll call up and be like, hey, excuse me, Red Lobster. Those bis biscuits were always a meal, definitely. I would I would load up on those and then bring some home. It was great. See the Red Lobster menu. Go. I remember the ultimate feast used to be $38. Now it's close to $50. Oh, my God. I remember when it was like 27. I remember 27. Did it literally double in price? Did it double in price? I will be very angry if it doubled in price. Dude, I am not happy about that. Oh, good. I, I should look it up. Got my coffee soda recipe there. Hold on. Uh, oh, let's see if I can do this. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Just, just open it up. Don't make me do it. Oh, they want me to use the thing. No, I'm not doing that then. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Mm. <laughs> That's funny. I, I'm typing it into Bing. You know the Bing AI thing? Um... Uh, it's like, uh, literally, it's just, I guess, so many people typed it in that it actually did. Okay, the price for the Ultimate Feast is $35.49. $35.49. Okay, so it went, up, it went up like seven or eight bucks. All right. Chat, I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking, and I've said this before. Boom. Yo. You use the Bing search? I am not even joking. I do not bother with Google anymore. And I used to use it all the time. This thing is mad accurate. I literally typed in how much is the whatever ultimate feast, and it boom right there. It literally it literally just pulled it up. I didn't have to go searching through menus and other websites. And you would not believe what Red Lobster is charging for fill in a blank. I just type it in and it pops up. This is how I, I fixed a lot of tech issues and stuff like that when I did not know what the hell was happening. It is, I would say, greatly accurate. Greatly. Go. It's $46.99 for the one near me. Oh, my God. I guess it's regional. But at least that's a, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call that the, the low starting price. So at least I know it's only going to go up from there. 24 for Salmon. Salmon? Salmon? Wasn't that the name of a writer? Salmon Rushdie? Yeah, he wrote a book, right? Look it up, I think. Give me a second. Hmm. What is that? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. All right. Go to Red Lobster website. Price you saw on Bing was from a month ago. From a month, months ago? Eh. But again, boom. I'm going with the starting price. No, in my head, that's good. that would be the base price, and it probably just goes up from there. At least I know it wasn't what it used to be. Yeah. Lobster rolls. Do, do, do. Oh God, how much is a lobster roll there? Do they even sell them? Lobster rolls, dude. And you know what McDonald's wants to do? If it, hey, if McDonald's wants to have some goodwill towards their their you know their consumer base, bring back the Mac Hat. Okay, this is what we need. All right, we need the Mac Hat because when I go to Burger King, I can get a crown there still. I can get the Burger King crown. 
You know, I could be, uh, you know, a king, a king of my own burger castle. You know, where's my Mac hat? 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 I'm just saying, Burger King crown. Mm. Ugh, lobster man. There you go, Lakota Warrior, what's up? How's it going? Oh man, I have been on for two hours and a half. I'm not gonna push it. I, I'm actually feeling really good, but that, that kind of worries me. You know? Like, literally, I feel like 90% good, and I'm like, ah, there's something wrong here. I'm not used to feeling good. My legs are busted, but hey, you know, other than that, I, I'm feeling good. I don't feel like my, my internal organs are spilling out of my stomach. You know? It's like uh, one of those silly putty makers where you put the silly putty in there, and then you'd, like, squish it down, and it would come out a hole. That would be your belly button. And, that, and the thing coming out would be your intestines. Blah. Strange but true. That hat looks stupid. Yeah, I know it looks stupid, but at least they could give it to people. I don't care if it looks dumb. Free crap, you know? That's the whole thing about America. Give me free crap. Huh? Half of our industry is is relying on, uh, you know, free crap. Oh, speaking of which, Selma Hayek. No, because we mentioned her early. I, I just I just got to br bring her to everybody's attention because Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek. Just saying. She's very... Dude, have you seen her in uh, that, what, Hitman's bodyguard's wife? Dude, she is amazing in that. Oh, my God. Dude, bro. Dude, she is just like, she is fierce, and she's just like, ah, ah, ah. dude, she's just, it's insane. Dude, I love that character. She did a really good job with that. McDonald's near me have brought back the double Big Mac. All right. Oh, my God. Dude, they had fruit, fruit punch, Hawaiian punch, fruit punch, bubble yum. That was a thing? Why didn't I not have this? Dude, I can I could I could literally drink and chew at the same time. Man. I don't know what the hell this is at the bottom. What is this? Ram wafer sandwich? Why does this have like depression era writing on it? This peanut butter and jelly graham wafer sandwich. What the hell? Cloverdale peanut butter and jelly wafers. Dude, that was a thing. They still make them apparently. Somebody took a bite out of this. What? Selma Hayek has always done great work. She's not just another pretty face. Well, she has that too, but I'm just saying she has acting chops too, which is flipping amazing. See, that that's the cool thing about her. It's like, you know, if you don't know who they are, they'll like draw you in with the way they look, but then you're like, damn, they actually know stuff. You know that kind of thing? It's like Elvira, you know? It's like you're like, damn. And then you're like, oh, damn, they actually smart. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm late. AJ, hi, how's it going? That's a rare find. Yeah, it is a rare find. A crazy rare find. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm. Bum, 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 bum. Best Adam Sandler film. Wedding Singer. I'm going with it. I'm saying it right now. Oh, God, yeah, I'm getting tired. Uh, let's see. Did you ever get that Eric Andre jump scare in your browser there? What? No. Where is it? Where's my jump scare? Where is it? There wasn't. What happened? I don't know. Oh, Tangia, are you messing me? Oh, I think Tangia is broken. Why? Why is this happening to me? Not on a Wednesday, man. Or sometime last year. Last year? What?
Wait, last? No. Yes? I don't know. I'm going to have to research this. Mm. No, I'm, 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 I'm out. Right, we got to wrap this up. We got to wrap this up because I don't want to overdo it. But let's see if I can get myself together here. Oh, God. Um, Adam mentioned that they are streaming. So I will check the list. Do 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 bum ba da da do 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 do. I gotta see who is streaming so we can have a coin toss. See who gets rated. Oh, there's free games with Prime right now. I think. Um, do 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 do. See, Pumpkin Potion is on. Frube is on. Uh oh, Sycora is on. Oh, Sycora, they're doing crafts. Hold on. But they're doing crafts. We never get to rate them because they're never on at the same time. Hope you have a great rest of the week and Thank continue you. to get better. See you Sunday. Jim Love. So far, so good. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, we got to raid Sycar. We haven't been able to raid them because they haven't been on for quite some time and they're doing crafts, so we got to do crafty things together. It's like a chill hangout. They're working on a house thing or something. I want to go see what they're doing. Let's go. 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 All right, we're going to get my outro music. If you can't stick around, I understand. But Adam is also streaming as well. Uh, let me do a thing. Yeah, that should be right. Boom. Okay, Adam is streaming. So I put their link in the chat if you want to check them out and see what they're doing. They're doing thing, but we're going to read Psychor because they're doing stuff and we never get to do it. Besides, I've been sub to them for like 80 months or some crazy crap like that. Um, Where's my outro music? Come on, let's go. There you go. Thanks for putting up with easy mode today. It's actually helped out a lot. Feeling good. Everything's getting better slowly but surely. Hopefully we'll get back to our normal state of reality. And then we can get back to doing what we normally do, which is whatever it is that we do. So thanks for support and stuff like that. We're going to raid Psychor. Donna's going to be on at 5 p.m. Friday doing game giveaways. Also Saturday, also Sunday, and Monday, like weird little gingerbread Valentine's Day thing. I don't know what's happening. But free games. So there we go. Everybody try to have a good week. Try to have a good week. We're going to try to make our own coffee soda, and we'll let you know how that goes. Assuming we get the ingredients. Everybody go do some fun. Thank you. Thank you. Go. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang.